everybody. Welcome to Four Player Podcast. My Greetings. name is <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. I love how Brad. I thought he was talking good, to me. It's, Brad, a good, it's a good natural chemistry there. Brad <laughs> loves to wait until that moment where he can just the he finds the most awkward <laughs> moment to just say uh uh oh hi hello <laughs> like it's perfect. Thank you, Brad Nolan. What's up? How are you? I'm good. Good on December second. December. <laughs> Yeah. This is a weird intro. December 2015. <laughs> this is December 2nd. We, we, should, we should each say something different. So Brad's like, or Nick's like, hi, welcome to 4Player Podcast. This is Brad. And he's like, oh, Brad, and it's December 2nd. And I'll be like, I know a podcast so that does this. 436. And then, and then I'll have be, nothing to say. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> and then there's Crispy. And, and then Crispy's like, thank I, you, or whatever. Yeah. And, 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 I, I, listening. and yeah. I showed up, too. <laughs> That's very idle thumbs. Yeah. yeah. Well... And Crispy showed up too, by the way. How yeah. was everybody's Thanksgiving weekend? S- speaking of, just on that note of in, in the Crispy thing, okay. uh, <laughs> when, when, whenever I, for the longest time, and I don't know if it's still the case, whenever I would visit Bernadette's family, like they would introduce everyone, and then they'd be like, and then here's Nolan. <laughs> they would always fucking say, and and Nolan, no, like, and right. then Nolan. <laughs> like I swear <laughs> to fucking God that it became like this inside joke because I even eventually brought it up, and I was like, oh, and and I'm here too, like because like because it, it was. I should start introducing you last. Yeah, it was like it'd be like thirty Filipinos and me. <laughs> did it, and well, did there's it, the difference. Well, did obviously, take, there's the difference. Oh, so you're like the most famous person. Uh, you're you're the person in the movie who's not like top billing, but you used to be famous. So exactly. You're, so you're like, at the end. At you the get end of the credits. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. 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 like exactly. Guest starring. Yeah. Right. Not guest star. It, no, he's not. No, but you know, like with or the and or like. Well, how do they like, determine? Like, those, he's the, by the final way. and. That's I have a serious like, question. That's Lawyers. usually like a place of honor. Yeah, it's yeah. like they give honor. it to somebody who isn't like, 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 like Michael Douglas was that like with Michael Douglas in the billing for Ant Man because yeah. he wasn't the main character, yeah. but he's like. But a or maybe the most talented Bear with person. me. This is a, this is an example. Like, this whoever the, gets it, paid the most money usually. This, oh, really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that makes sense because this is actually the example I think of. But only if they're not top bill. If anyone yeah. here has ever right. watched the show Criminal Minds, nope. No. Nope. Uh, well, the main character in that show is easily probably the most recognizable person. He's 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 the leader of like the task force on the on the show. He gets last billing every episode, but he is the only person that has been on the show since it, the episode But he's one. not the main character. One right? of the, he he's like the, main, the boss. He is the face of the he's, show. He, well, one, he's like... One of the reasons they do that, it's psychological. Uh, when it comes to memorization, you usually remember the first thing and the last thing in an event or something. If you're reading something, you'll remember the first and the last more than you remember the middle. So the top build is always at the front. They're always the first one you see. And then the last one you see is the one that's not as important as the top, but mm-hmm. just after. Yeah. So that, that's that's another reason why they, well, they do that. But or, I literally or can't... really old. Sometimes yeah. really old gets last. Okay. So I it's because rem- they're going to die. I soon. can't remember his name. Um, oh, fuck. Never mind. I can't. I can't remember the show he used to be on to, to give you the the reference. He was on a major like comedy sketch show a long time ago. Is Who's Omar? who plays Hotchner on Criminal Minds? Someone in chat has to know this. It looks but, like Victus would know because he said Criminal Minds is great. Criminal Minds is a great show if you like. Zarl says, rules. "Is Phil yeah. Lamar still alive?" But he punctuated that statement Phil... with a period, which makes me think he doesn't really believe it as much as he'd like us to think. Who is Phil yeah. Lamar again? Phil Lamar is like the he voice was, of every third yeah. Yeah. character. He's a you've video ever game heard. voice actor oh, these okay. days. Yeah. And uh, cartoon. But anyway, lo- long story short, I, I eventually started signing cards. Thomas and Gibson, like, thank you. And even even guest books. Like when her cousin got married, I didn't sign. Like no, I said, and here's Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, anyways, back to the original question. Yep. How was everyone's Thanksgiving? Uh, Wait. That was the, that was the original question. You I think we got derailed interrupted. It. Yeah. Was that derailed last it. podcast? I mean, that was since last podcast. Yes. yes. Brad, I've had two Thanksgiving yeah. dinners since last podcast. Really? I had a Thanksgiving dinner and a and Thanksgiving Crispy, lunch. And Crispy's over here threatening to make me have a third. Threatening. I mean, yeah. Thanksgiving's great, but it's definitely not one you talk about much after the fact. Like, Maybe that's cares? because no one it's likes you. It's gone. Yeah, because that's the dinner holiday. That's all you do yeah. is have dinner. You have dinner at Christmas, hey, guys, but there are I presents had, and like parties and shit. I had turkey was great. You know, you know what my family usually does. I didn't have dinner with my family this year for Thanksgiving. We know what your family usually does. My Nick. family for Thanksgiving usually does lobster. <laughs> Fuck turkeys. Really? Did I've never lobsters are made the like a lobster the at home. <laughs> my family is so boring. That, that's that's the one downside to going to visit my family on holidays, is because we all sit around and go, huh? Well, what do we do now? Maybe we can watch a movie or play a game. I'm like, well, what do we or play? Go what jet do we watch? Skiing. Don't your folks own like nine jet skis? Well. <laughs> 
Nine, <laughs> nine <laughs> jet skis. It's, it's cold. It's cold outside. Oh, just, 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 one. just layer up with a few. You should, you should get wet that's, that's something in the past, like I don't know, four or five years. I've gotten really into board games, and I found that if you get a good board game that old people like too, yeah. I can go like I like Balder Dash is a good one. Um, the the new one that we that we started playing is uh, is called Concept. Have I brought this up on the show before? Mm, I th- wait, is it concept? concept? Concept. Like a concept. Concept is something else. I remember yes. hearing it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I can't remember what that is. So yeah, those marmalades are open. Whatever that was. Maybe don't be yeah, fing, don't... Footin', playing footsies with the open marmalade Ooh, jar. Marmalade don't, don't footsies. Be foot... <laughs> marmalade <laughs> footsies. All right. All right, anyway, back back to the story. So concept is the new one we've been marmalade playing. Marmalade footsie is also something totally different. <laughs> yeah. yeah it is. Uh, <laughs> it's all uh-huh. sticky. Um... So concept, it's it's a really simple board game, and that the board is actually very complicated. But you have a card and it has a bunch of stuff on it. It might have like hot dog, or uh, a, fr- a phrase like "What's bred in the bone comes out in the flesh." What? Yeah, exactly. You ever heard of that fucking phrase before? I haven't. No. But anyway, so what I have a list Never of once. things like easy, medium, and hard, and you try and get the other people playing Wait. to guess. <laughs> Was what? that a? Was that an erection euphemism? <laughs> I think I think it's what what's bred in the bone comes out in the flesh. It means essentially what you what what you do with someone when they're young, what you teach them, how you raise them comes out when they're older. I think that was kind of does sound oddly phallic. A little bit, <laughs> um, and so uncomfortably. The, even. the board is covered in all these little boxes, and so the boxes are very various things. Like there's a man box, a woman box, a like a I like the woman <laughs> box. <laughs> there's a occupation box. There's is, a city box. Is there's the woman. Let's go back and talk about the woman box. There's boxes for different colors. <laughs> and so and so you have these these little uh, figures and you place them on the board to kind of try and guess the, get the people who are playing to guess what the concept is based off where you're putting them. So if I put a, a figurine on like uh, like a boat and I, so I put the main one, the, the, there's a main concept token. Say I put it on like the movie icon and everyone knows it's a movie. And then I put a sub one on like a boat. Titanic. And, and there you go. Already got it. Whoa, Nick already got it so before good. I did anything. I was nice. thinking Titanic. Well, that's what I'm saying. Boat. So that, that that's well, so, so some Queen of the Nile. Some of them are very simple, like Titanic. But the other ones, like I said, there was a fucking phrase that you try to get them to guess, which is "What's bred in the bone comes out in the flesh." <laughs> which I've never Please even fucking stop had. saying that. <laughs> and like, so there's another one. There was a time I was trying to get um, everyone to guess uh, six feet under. Six feet under. And so I did. I did. You know, there's a box for phrase, so I put it on there, and then I put it on. Um, there's a down down arrow, so I put there, so under, and then I, there was a foot one, and so I put six little like feet on it, and like I was trying to like Bernadette was like many feet, a lot of feet, and I was like oh no no, and so and so I started like I started putting them one at a time. Tiny feet. I started putting them one at a time on the foot, and she's like okay one, two, three, four, five, many feet, and I was like son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like she's just right when she Plur- was there. Plural feet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, like one of the ones that we thought would be really easy to get them to guess was Quidditch. Oh my what? god! <laughs> Why, Why is them, that easy? Because once you get them on movie and like you put like three people and young, you can. We got them to guess Harry Potter for a different one really easily. But then <laughs> wait, like, movie three people young Quidditch. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Like, it took us forever. Like, Quidditch, I thought was going to be super easy. It ended up being really fucking hard. But it's a really fun game. I don't know if it'd be good for a board game night for us, just because the board is so fucking Dude, important. Dude, I've had fun just talking about it. I think we should do talk about it. Do you know what sucks with your family? Trivial pursuit. Mm. Like, I have I have a little brother who every time we get together always wants to play Trivial, trivial There's Pursuit. There's a lot of people who always want to play Trivial Pursuit. But it's, it's such a boring game. It's yeah. such a bad game. It is. It's Roll again. Roll again. Oh, I hate Roll that. Again. I hate uh, that. All right, I'm on the I, pie. And then someone gets like a bullshit question. Yeah. And some person gets like an impossible. Have, have you ever what played a sucky I, game? I think I brought it up on the podcast before. Battle of the Sexes. I think is one of the worst That's fucking board games. It's horrible. Yeah. That'll end you relationships. Did talk about that on yeah, the but one game I that everyone always wants to play, and I will, like, fucking emphatically, no, I will refuse to play this game. Is Monopoly? Well, I do not know why nobody people in love their right mind so wants to. Do voluntarily all, play Monopoly. I think eight times out of ten I win. Because well, that, that applies to everything, Nolan. <laughs> not necessarily. Not necessarily. But the problem is, it's because the, the way I play the game. Like, someone will be like, oh, trade me this for this. And I'm like, no. Because <laughs> that's going to give you Davis a Monopoly, so fuck our, off. Chris just, Davis just typed into our private chat, I like Monopoly. He so, also likes playing chess in the park. Well, he remembers that when dude I, is like... Yes. 
He remembers 85. when Monopoly came out. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if you played it recently, Chris. And one of the things is, I think the only way Monopoly goes well is if you play it with people who don't get mad. And that's it, nobody in this room. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm pretty sure individuals. we will all get mad. Well, I, I, I played a pretty good game for Thanksgiving as well on my 3DS. Before you get to that, <laughs> I do want to talk about Jessica Jones real quick. Oh, okay. Has any, cause it, oh, I watched a couple more episodes. Nick, how, how far are you into it? I'm on episode 10. Crispy? Uh, zero. Oh, I finished, really? I finished yeah. it. Of all people. Dude, I don't have time. Because <laughs> you started always, out like you're a Cosby. Always, you're always... <laughs> 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 I, that's, you started out like a Cosby. Like a Cosby bit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't have... And it... <laughs> <laughs> it's a little like a, a, excuses. I don't <laughs> have an excuse. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, anyway, um, I finished Jessica Jones uh, mainly because uh, the day Chris, I had to go to work. Stop it. The day I had to go to work for uh, for uh, for whatever it was. It was I was there in the middle of the night. And nothing ended up happening. I was constantly I had to. One monitor was on all our. Uh, one of my screens was on all our monitors, making sure nothing went wrong. And the, and the other one was I was watching like, Jessica Jones. I guess I'll watch Jessica Jones. <laughs> And I ended up finishing it. Nice. Uh, I I really like the show. Once again, not the biggest fan of Kristen Ritter. This is the best thing I've ever seen her in. Uh, to, to, through the end of the show, she's, uh, she's, she's not good. a great actress. She's, she's not, not a great I, actress. She's not. But she's pretty good in the show. But, but that's what I'm saying. Brad, I still even don't she's understand. Not, I think the show carries her. Yeah. <laughs> like, I still don't understand what the hell the point of her having superpowers at all is. Uh, right? She uses them. It's, yeah, she uses them like. Well, well, what? Like the, really? the, well, what but it is not the main point of her character. Yeah, exactly. I, I know, but it just makes me wonder why even have her, why even give her powers at all? She'd be the because same person. It's a with twist that. on a superhero. It's cool. Yeah, it's a superhero that's more down to earth. But she's not really a superhero. She's just a person who can. But she saves heavy people's things. lives. Not with her Kinda. superpowers. Rarely. Why do you have to have superpowers to be a superhero, Nick? God damn it, Nolan. She you uses know, it to You don't think blocks. firefighters are superheroes? Shut up. You <laughs> shut up, Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> Not having this discussion. I, don't get me wrong. I'm still enjoying the show a lot. I really, Aren't single mothers superheroes? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> well, Raising I mean, a kid isn't hard. Is it, isn't As that guy mother. who volunteers every weekend at the homeless shelter a superhero? I mean, I mean, I, it's not even about the lore. Like, self torment chat's like, learn the lore, Nick. It's not even about the lore. It's the lore. Like, I didn't give a shit about the lore. This I is just like the, the show. This is one of the few shows where I literally couldn't care less about why she has, like, I don't, it, she doesn't feel like she belongs in the Marvel Universe. I, I know almost. what you're saying, especially because her superpowers that she has when she used them, it isn't even grandiose. No. It's like, oh, she punched a hole in the wall. It's one of those things where like, she's fighting a dude and she throws him like three feet and it's like, no. wait, I, can't, I, I could probably do that. But, yeah, <laughs> you know the, what I'm the saying? The point like, is, in that universe, her having those kind of superpowers, she might as well not have superpowers because that world is filled with people who can punch holes through walls. Oh, yeah. like, that's like, true. Like, even normal people would just be like, uh, okay, I saw that last week. Like, <laughs> Didn't her character... Like, the thing is, you say she doesn't seem like other Marvel superheroes, but I, didn't her character originate from like a line of Marvel comics that was like s like supposed to be more mature, like different sure. from the others, right? Sure. Yeah. I didn't know that. I don't know. I mean, I thought, I thought you were going to say like she was like, like a Marvel cassette tape mature from Transformers. Or something like that. It's, I mean, to be <laughs> fair, like not a whole lot in that show. I feel gels super. I mean, as, at least right now, it doesn't feel super um, congruent with everything else happening in the Marvel universe. It's like Kilgrave is a great villain, but he's unlike any other villain he's in the Marvel universe. Horrible, right? What? That guy, no, he's good, the, he, but he's fucked. Like he's saying, Kilgrave as a person ass, is horrible. The uh, uh, he's not a nice guy. He's, I mean, David Tennant. I, David Tennant. Thank you. I, I was thinking like Benjamin. No. <laughs> thank you. David Tennant is fucking amazing. He's basically Gamergate. <laughs> God damn it, Brad. God damn it. <laughs> God damn. It. Sorry. Never mind. <laughs> Way to go, Brad. I didn't say that. All yeah. right. We've. Anyway, uh, watch the show. Finish it. It's good. Even though, yes, her super. I, I didn't watch the show because I liked her because she had superpowers. Uh, I watched the show because it was a good fucking yeah, show. Yeah, it's a great show. I was enjoying it. Fuck that Sam guy, though. I don't like that guy. <laughs> There's a sand guy? Oh, Sam. Sam. Simpson? Sam. Simpson? Is that his name? Is, is, the, the, is his name Sam wait, Simpson? Wait, who's Sam? Or make up Sam. The, her friend's boyfriend, right? The, I want to kill him all the time, that guy? Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't like that guy. Yeah, I don't like him very much either. Uh, one more superhero thing I wanted to mention was I watched The Flash from last night. No, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, shut up. Shut your face. You shut your face. It was the crossover, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Oh, you shut up. You shut crossover up. Crossover with shut what? Arrow. A, another crossover with Arrow, but they are fucking just throwing superheroes into the show now. Yes. Well, yeah, they're setting, they're setting up the for uh, Legends, uh, Legends of, of Tomorrow. Tomorrow. This guy won't yeah. get a movie. This guy won't get a movie. <laughs> no, yeah, pretty much. So, they, yeah, they're just like, they're, but oh, it's, it's, and it's, so my frustration with this show and with any kind of thing with The Flash is always like, oh, he can run so fast. But he always runs too slow. You know what I'm saying? Like Just he always, barely. like he he can he can fucking run so fast he goes back in time. But he has trouble catching like throw five knives that were thrown. Like he barely makes it. It's like I'm pretty sure he. Probably could have caught those knives the, the second they left the person's right. hand. Yeah, as much as I yeah. as much as I anyway. agree with you, Nolan. Anyway, all right. This is dangerously close to last week's <laughs> tangent. <laughs> so we're sorry. Coming. All right, back back on topic. Video if he game. caught the great. knife, would it like would he feel the force Brad? of the knife? <laughs> Brad, Brad, <laughs> okay, shut sorry. the fuck up. Well, video no, games. Mass. It is time to talk about video games. What video game did you want to play? Your 3DS. Oh yeah, 3DS. Brad, uh, what'd you play? Well, I mean, this was just like gonna be an aside, but I have been playing some Stella Glow, and it's pretty cool. It's surprisingly some what? Playing what? Stella Glow. Oh, I've never heard of what now? Stella Glow. Is that new? It's a new 3DS strategy RPG by Image Epoch. It was their last game they shut down earlier this year. They've made a lot of mediocre role-playing games and stuff. But like they're sort of they were the king of B tier stuff that you don't <laughs> That's really a see. great thing to be king yeah. of. But I mean you don't really you didn't really <laughs> see like... that stuff anymore. You know, you see shit from like Square Enix and it, was, it all takes, you know, eight years to come out and it's all bloated and They were up. like a Roger Corman, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I mean they made I mean they didn't make a lot of memorable games, but they're always like pretty solid. And this one actually like tilts towards kind of good. So so it's sad. It's just, Leans a little towards good. Well, I mean, I haven't played... I've only played like four hours of it, so I don't really know... Fair enough, fair enough. ...where it goes. So I mean, you, it is a strategy you, RPG. Sometimes those take to, like, yeah. you know, build systems. I just wanted to say that, like, I'm enjoying it. Like, like it, it is... It's surprising how, like, well put together it is. Like, all the cutscenes are, like, voice acting and the and voice acting, and the voice acting is actually really good. On the 3DS? Yeah, exactly. Huh. Exactly. So, so, and I was kind of surprised. And, and there's, there's some, you know, the 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 systems seem pretty simple at least right now. But I kind of respect some of the things that it's doing. You see a lot of strategy RPGs where all the characters kind of move at one, once, and then all the enemy moves all at once. This yeah. one has like the Final Fantasy tactics. Like characters Everyone's have different speed, speed ratings. Well, nice. And I stuff. like that. I prefer that you system. Know, like positioning is. And you know what? Your character starts out doing like eight damage. And I like that. I feel like RPGs these days, you don't even pay attention to the numbers because they start out like in the thousands. You know you know what I mean? It like it just becomes a visual effect because you're not even really when, when, looking when, at the look number. Look at all the zeros. Yeah. <laughs> when you yeah. start in single digits, you have somewhere to go. Yeah. Like when you when you start in like the thousands and then you're in like the thirty thousands, it's like what why yeah, didn't you just take sorry. off those zeros off the end? Yeah. It's it's it, you you feel like the improvement of your character is much more greater yeah. when you start lower because you actually feel like you're going somewhere. The difference in between eight and a hundred is pretty big. The difference in between a hundred and two hundred is not. Yep, that is true. Yeah. That is true. So visually, I'm, I mean, obviously number wise, they're the same. But I'm gonna keep playing that. Uh, it's weird how I've been playing it because On the I, well, I, I've been playing it as I play Metal Gear Solid Five. <laughs> Wait, so do you well, play it like so, during like loading scenes? Well, or there, there, there's a Are lot. Are we just of, getting all the asides out of the way for this week? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of fluff in Metal Gear. You know, like when you select a mission, like there's a lot of stuff happens. But you see, you could have Metal Gear running. You can sit down and go, "I want to do a mission." And from the time where you decide you want to do a mission to you actually running around with your character, like it takes some time. In the middle of the year. There's a lot. Well, a lot of, of it has to do with because every single time you go in the helicopter, you have to wait for. First you have of all, you have, to, credits, you have to wait for it to wait, come pick you up. Yeah. Then you have to wait for it to take off, and then you literally sit there and watch it fly around Mother Base yeah. for like 30 seconds before it fades out, and then it has to load, and then you're on the chopper, 
and then you have to go into your thing and choose everything. The, the, wor- the worst, the worst thing is when you're standing on the landing zone and you're watching it. Yeah. And it's like flying in circles. Like sometimes it won't exactly come pick you up. Like it'll kind of fly around. The thing a is, you know, you can first. upgrade the helicopter so it comes and gets you faster. Dude, I know. Brad, upgrade that Which, shit. Because once mm-hmm. it's at the max level, like you'll call it and be, it's like I'm on my way. I know. I'm landing. Like, dude, it, it's it's like immediate once you get it mine's, to the max mine's level. Mine's pretty fast, but but so so like w- when I'm waiting on that stuff, it's usually when I'll be like playing a battle, and then when I'm actually like running around with my character, running to the destination, that that's when I can just be like watching the cutscenes, and because you know they're voice and you can auto play them, so I'm just kind of watching and listening with with like a headphone. As I'm Good running, Lord. this is how desperate I have become. It is, it too is many December. Games. It is yeah. December, and there's still giant games coming out. I, I I said this on Twitter the other day. I have I have officially come to terms, and I am at peace with the idea that any game that I would potentially put on my top ten list has already come out, and I own it. Really, I, I have a list of games that I need to play that I have owned for a while. Mm-hmm. It's like five or six games long. Mm-hmm. Once I've done those, that's all I'm taking into consideration. I like I, I Xenoblade's like, not out. And I, some good I news. honestly, I don't really have any. What much if Xeno, What if Xenoblade gets like ten out of ten? <laughs> well, it's the, not the review. I didn't say it's. It, well, I didn't say it's, it's going not, to. Dude. I said what if. Dude, what if the the very in this little, world of hyperbole? The reviews are out. I know. They're in the they're very, very little. I, Dude, I read like you I, can't, you can't, you can't just assume, Nick. Do you remember two years ago? Well, I know my taste. No, I know, <laughs> but 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 like, there's something that you don't even know about that'll yeah. pop up at like eleven thirty New Year's Eve, but, like <laughs> like year one did two years ago. Remember hey, that? Let me just say like, this. Like let me we just were say like, this. what's that? I started playing that half an hour before midnight, and it ended up on my fucking list. Let me just <laughs> say this. It doesn't matter what we do. We do these every year. It doesn't matter how hard you try. There is always going to be a game or two that you wish you got around to playing well, that could have been on your list. That's, that's, that's why we have our biggest regrets. Exactly. On our I already show, have. Yeah. Before I even play those like five or six games that I told you I have that I'm trying to get a significant Fallout? chunk of, I already have 18 other games that I'm considering for top 10. That's a lot of games. And I have to add six more. So, like, the this. I have well, you played have 18 games you're considering in your well, top 10. I've played a total of 18 games this year, oh. like to completion that okay. I'm consi- that I would consider. Yeah. Like I was looking at my list and I've played like I don't know like 20 something. I remember like 2 years ago I played like 40 games. This this, this year uh, games in are particular. Giant. Yeah, that's the this thing game, all the games this are This year big. in particular, there have been so many huge AAA games that I have played fewer games yet ranking the, them has the been The frustrating thing is is all the AAA games have been really good. Yeah. Do you know what's something I noticed? Is that there's a lot of games that could be contender for my top ten. Like I'm gonna have to make some cuts that I really do. Dude, I, make. I think today. But I, mean, I have not found. I am no. I am not close at all to finding like my favorite game. The of one. The year. Yeah. Or even the number two or. The I number have three, three games that I know they're gonna be my top three. I'm just trying to figure out which one I like the most. What are they? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Give us your potential number three. No. That See, would be I spoiling think too much. Okay, I don't. Fine. <laughs> there is a game that I want to honor or putting on my top ten list, and I just know is not going to make the cut. What's I just Creed? know it. Assassin's Creed. No. Syndicate. No. That's his number five. Do, do, you, do, you, do you see what I'm saying? Exactly, Batman. Nolan. You, how did you guess? <laughs> nothing from this year I, like, absolutely adore. Like, yeah. no, nothing this year yeah. I was head over heels. Yeah, and, like, what's your yeah. three very much? No, I mean, that's the thing. That is a, a contender for my top ten list. Is it, like, my favorite game of the year? Can I talk no. about a game real quick? Picks the cat. <laughs> That's the <laughs> game I right to talk about. <laughs> I want to talk about a I game. Play enough of that. I want to talk about a game this week that I started playing last night. That is, what? I was like, I knew it was on my list of games that I need to get around to, 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 to try, and it is already getting. It's probably already get, finding its way onto my list oh. somewhere, somehow. It's gonna oh. find its way onto my list. <laughs> I'm just like, I gotta make room for it. It's, it's, I'm. I'm liking it that much. Mm-hmm. We'll see. And I don't what know. Is that, I've only, only played it like an hour. Is it I started the... playing Invisible Ink last night, oh. which is the game. When I first played it at PAX a few years ago, it was called Incognita. Yeah. Incognita. Uh, it's a turn-based uh, tactical. Uh, it, it actually spy has a, game. Yeah, yeah it's spy game. It actually it has a. It's actually corporate corporate espionage. You play like a a group of spies that are that are actually infiltrating and stealing corporate secrets from different companies. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a really cool concept. It actually plays a lot like 
XCOM a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Um, it, Turn based strategy. Almost exactly, yeah. actually, in terms of like the way you move your character around the match. Why are you flicking Crispy off, Brad? I was just testing him. Me? Was he trying to like see if Chris Davis would blur out your finger? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have that technology? <laughs> Roll the footage. Okay. So this is also. Oh, is that a map? This looks boring. Looks like satellite rain. <laughs> Snore. I, I mean, Sorry, honestly, guys. the funny thing is, like, I was playing this, and I was like, I was having so much fun playing this, and I was like, God, this would be boring to watch. I know, right? This <laughs> is why that's, I've been putting it off. So that's the problem with a lot of games and why I haven't been getting into them is, yeah, like, there are some games that I know I would play hundreds of hours of, but just not super feed-friendly. Mm-hmm. So uh, this footage is actually rolling, but you can't see my mouse, and I'm actually reading all these <laughs> these things. So... You'll see it in a second. But like the game is structured just like uh, just like XCOM in terms of your care is turn based. You have two different you have multiple characters in the map. I think it's only two players per. You can unlock additional characters. I've only played with two characters so far. But you have characters on the map and you move them around and they have turn or action points. Mm-hmm. And each block each block that you move them to uses an action point. Uh, you can use action points to do other things like peek into doors or around corners. Um, you can use so incognita is this like. AI tool that you have, uh, which is actually what the game used to be named after until they changed it. Um, but you can use that to remote control and like hack like security cameras. And uh, if you're within range, you can you can hack computers and turn off like l- laser trip wires yeah. and, and you know things like that. Um, but what I love about the game uh, is I just I love its interface, like how it presents everything. It's real like, slick. It, like, you remember Mark of the Ninja, right? Which yep. is the last... This is Clay yeah. Entertainment. Same yeah. guys that did Mark of the Ninja. That game was so slick in how it presented and how it telegraphed to the player like what you can see what and what you can't see or what, yeah. the, or what the character can see and can't see. Same thing here. Like, you can see the whole map, but everything is, like, enveloped in shadow until you, like, peek around a cor- mm. corner or under a door or whatever. And, like, say you walk up to a door and you have the option to peek under the door. You can... You can peek under the door, and it will kind of illuminate directly in front of the uh, door on the other side so you can see what's on the exact other side of the door. Mm-hmm. If you open the door and then do a peek, you'll see, you'll kind of, he'll poke his whole head in and see the whole room. Yeah. Um, but you uh, you do that when you when you open the door, you risk alerting guards, you risk um, catching the attention. Triggers the enemy's movement. Yeah. So there's a, like, I'm, I've, I feel like I've only scratched the surface of like all the little tiny things you can do in, in this game. But it is, in a sense, also kind of an RPG. Your you, each character that you play as has abilities and skills that you can level up as you do missions, um, and that you, they have augments, also kind of like uh, Deus Ex. Mm-hmm. So or satellite, could you or augment, satellite, could you augment your pre order? Uh, <laughs> I did. No, oh, no, I did not augment my pre order. Um, but like these augments do some really cool shit, like. <sighs> I can't even remember all the. I've only seen like three or four of them so far, but they're all really cool. Did did it seem overwhelming at first, dude? I was really like one of the reasons that I didn't play this game for forever is because I was really worried to be overwhelmed. I tried playing this in a convention hall at PAX, and I was like, "Holy shit!" But the tutorial they that they set up for you at the very beginning is actually really good. Hmm. Like it literally just walks you through a mission. They you know, it's. The interface is so slick, and they have they have this girl talking to you over the phone. She tells you what to do, and you just she does what to do. You do it, and all the controls are very simple. You're, you're not using a controller; it's just it's literally just click on something. It'll pop up some commands. You can open the door, peek around it, whatever. Yeah. You do it, and then use an action point, and it's just boom, 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 boom. Super slick, and and everything that you do also has a keyboard shortcut. Which mm-hmm. is, you know, I'm sure it's standard, but I don't know. I the, the way I broke it down and explained it was just really really intuitive to the point where i learned the the ins and outs of the game super quick yeah so now i'm just i'm you know i mean i'm not the best of these games i don't play these games super often so i am playing on beginner that's fine there's no there's nothing wrong with playing a game on any difficulty yeah but i mean like even even beginning level like there's there's some challenge here yeah um and like one of the things you know playing on beginner it gives you the ability to rewind so you can undo choices oh that's um, actually really cool but you have a limited number i was about to ask that do yeah. you have a limited number per like i think level you start with per... i think you start with five five uh per mission i think okay so when you do another mission, I think it resets. I I've only had to use rewind like once or twice, and it's you. A lot of times it's because like I I'll move to a, into a place, and then I'll be like I'll accidentally let go of the or I'll click the mouse button too mm. soon, and hit, and it'll move someone right in front of an open door. I'm like fuck, and I just like rewind yeah. it and then put it back to the right of the door. Yeah. Um, 
Rewind needs to be in more games. Yeah, you know? it's it's great. It it it, it gives this. It's, it's a very underrated feature that like when I play like Pushmo or Crashmo, mm. it's so fucking nice to be able to just rewind what because you did. it gives you the option to like undo decisions without feeling like you have to fuck up and die and reload to do yeah. it, which is wonderful. I remember, but I think as soon as you move out of the beginner difficulty, you mm. don't have the ability to okay. rewind anymore. I, I played like 150 hours of that Tactics Ogre remake, having completely forgotten that one of the big new features of that remake is you can rewind turns. Mm -hmm. I just completely so you just forgot. Never did. It, I never did it. Well, I forgot that it makes you a better man. I think that well, happens. So really. there are that, some missions I may have like restarted. Oh wow! See, that happens to everyone. <laughs> Remember just, when Nolan played through Metal Gear Solid R Rising without using Ripper mode? Ripper mode? <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> um, I also, didn't even know. <laughs> also, so if you're looking at the the footage right now, you like. I have the tendency when I look at this game, I'm like, holy crap, that looks dense and like. This or, is stream suicide. But you I could never broadcast this. Yeah, it, it is. It is stream suicide. It. it it's not broadcastable, I don't think. But at least, at least satellite rain had neon colors. But it's so easy. <laughs> like there are so many different things you can maneuver in the environment to get a better look or a yeah, better angle. Yeah. Like you can toggle the walls, so mm -hmm. like you can turn the wall in. Like see, you can see oh, me. Like wow. I press T and all the walls go away. They're still there, but I can't. You can see down into the world better, and you can see around corners better, and things like that. Um, you also like some of the ability. Like one of the abilities you start with, which is like really cool. Is you can uh, I forgot what it's called exactly, but you basically tell him to uh, like if you're if you run out of turns, like if you're at zero and you come up to a door uh, frame and there's a guard that you know is close and potentially going to walk the door on the next enemy turn. Yeah, you can use you uh, use this ability and basically if an enemy walks within on the next turn walks within a certain range of you, mm -hmm. you'll automatically attack them hmm. and take them out. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just one of the things you start with. So and there's I. There's already, oh, like, I found, like, several stores where you can find, like, all kinds of abilities. I'm like, oh, shit, I want that, I want that, holy shit. Like, it's got to hook so deep in me now. It's, yeah. This is this game is freaking cool. And it's so sleek and stylish, just like Mark of the Ninja. It's, yeah. it's so weird, because, like, Clay Entertainment, when, like, when I first played, like, what was the first game they did? Um, Shank. 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 Yeah, Shank, yeah. Or, like, it Eats Chow Down. Like, <laughs> let's, let's talk about Shank. But Eats was cool. <laughs> but, like, those games are cool. But they're and they're like slick and they look nice, whatever. But they're not the deepest games. And then you get to games like Mark of the Ninja, and you're just like, holy shit, this team is talented. Well, and that, then they do this, and it's like, holy shit, like they. This is that was a Nails, a Nails Anderson game, uh, who now works on Firewatch, I believe. Firewatch. That's oh, the, the Campo Santo. Dude, I'm so excited for that game. Is that game coming the next year? January, I think, or February. No, that didn't. That didn't uh, I just looked up the average time to beat this, and it's around. Between like seven and twelve hours. This isn't that bad, yeah. Well, that's good because I I want to get through it. One thing I'm not entirely sure about yet. I see, so like when you start the game, you're trying to accomplish this mission, mm -hmm. uh, and you have there's like a seventy two hour time on it, whatever, and you do missions around the world. So between missions, you get in your jet and you fly to different places. But like when you like say you start in Texas yeah. and you're gonna fly to you know, Washington or something, like, it'll show you the number of hours you're going to use traveling oh, there to do a mission. Did you see that? So I'm not sure if, like, the whole game is, like, what? you have to finish it in, seven, in within I 72 hours. So. Probably, uh, yeah. I, I, I've heard this game kind of described as a roguelike. <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm wondering, does it, that mean you can't, you can fuck up and not... Potentially. Yeah, yeah. see, yeah. that's what I'm saying. See, but, but, but it's not long. It's designed to, to, to be played multiple times. Um... Trying out different things and stuff like yeah. that. Trying different solutions. Do I mean, instead of going to Washington, go to this place. Yeah, first, there's kind of already like so many things that I can. I've just seen just that I I eventually have access to that I'm just like, holy shit! Like I'm, yeah. if I'm really trying to do this in under 72 hours, I'm never gonna use all this shit before. See, time limits they stress me out, man. That's a knock for me. That that it is for me too, man. But the the core gameplay conceit is really good. Really yeah. good. Oh my god! I just I don't have time. I don't have time. It's you apparently know, it's short. Do you know why I have no time? Why do you not have any time? Because I'm not even playing games that <laughs> are out coming yet. out this year. Oh, I'm not playing dead. 2015 games. I oh spent my, my entire weekend and Monday night playing Drawn to Death. Mm. Talking with David Jaffe what's, what's too. What's Drawn to Death, Brad? That is the new David Jaffe joint. Him and his new studio. Uh, Bar no, uh, Bartlett Detective Agency or yeah. Ghost 
the, Something like that. It's a really weird studio. Yeah. They say they make games and, like, Hunt Ghost. Find, Hunt Ghost, yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. But, um, yeah, their new game from David Jaffe, the creator of Fist of Metal and God of War. God of War. Um, he he and his team have made a arena uh, multiplayer uh, shooter. Kind of kind of harkens back to like kind of uh, like Unreal and Quake Three, but it has a lot of like twisted metal DNA in it. Yeah, and it my, has a really so crazy I, I, art style. I played a lot of this uh, with you. Yeah. Uh, my biggest complaint is I don't like the user interface. It's all like drawn or whatever, and it's, but for me it makes it kind of hard to see. Like like words. Well, everything looks like it's well, like words is what's it's hard for me to see in this game. Yeah, like I when mean, someone kills you, it always pops up with who killed you, with what they killed you with, and all that stuff. But like I can't read it. Like is it because it, of the it's color? Definitely, it's definitely yeah. the kind of thing where I remember after, when I first started playing, I was really overwhelmed. I didn't know what I should be looking at or what meant what, and and you're a lot of UI stuff as well. But I mean, it, I mean, I guess you just sort of learn that visual, visual vocabulary. Yeah, no, and stop I'm sure being over an issue, time, but, yeah. But like, yeah, like we, like a lot of shit popping up. Like it's yeah. supposed, it definitely wants to be crazy, crazy. <laughs> no, and and, and yeah, it is. Yeah. Dude, this art style is this. so nuts. It's a cool art. It's a really cool art style. And I thought that it was gonna be, you know, how like Mad World can be really hard to see sometimes, yeah. like just see what's going on. But I, th I feel like when you're in the game, it's not really. Well, there's just there's, there's I mean, just the level is the most confusing. There's level. just the right color. enough color, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like they have they have some contrast. Like like Mad World is literally black and white with and red. With red. <laughs> yeah. This is like has more shades of like gray and and even some shades of like blue and white mixed in there. They're certainly committed to the aesthetic, and that's probably why the UI is so crazy. Everything is just like drawn and. And like 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 scribbled into you know the margins. I heard that the uh, the artists on this game when they first started drawing stuff, it Went was insane. Too, it was too good. Yeah. <laughs> it was too good. And they're like, this does not look like some you know shitty it's high schooler it. drew in his notebook. Okay, so, yeah. so so what they did is they made the artists draw with their offhand. Oh wow! And that's how they got more sketchy, like kind of crappier looks to some so, of the stuff. So, uh, so the concept of this game, if you haven't seen it before, is that you know the, the whole game's aesthetic is is drawn as if it was like a kid's notebook, like doodling in high school or something like that, yeah, right? Correct. Like, like like a nineties metal punk. Yeah, just, even the main video is a VGA <laughs> from like a kid's point of view sitting in a lecture like, yeah, in high it school. Starts out yeah. with FMV. It's, it, yeah, or yeah, uh, what did I say? VGA, an FMV of like a classroom, like a yeah. like a real live action classroom. And then like when you hit the X button, he like looks down at his notebook. Yeah, dude, I sat and there the for menu. so long. I sat yeah. there for so long, not realizing that's what was going on. The girl he, the he actually is teaching you how to properly do CPR. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, so like yeah. you, you'll if you. You you could save lives by playing drawn today. I really I hope they I Wait, hope they really? come up with like yes. different classes because That'd the be lecture cool. loop is only like like twenty seconds long. Well, yeah. and then it like I mean back. it, it seems cool like was... this game. I, I see. I'm wondering how. So this is like a private alpha. Yeah. Um. A, um. I think this is going to be the last one before they go into beta. I don't know when this thing actually is actually going to come out. It is free to play, and I don't know if it's going to be like this early access sort of thing where like maybe they'll put it out before it's done um but it seems like there's still kind of a, a, a long ways to go as far as like like it seems like there's going to be potentially a lot of characters i don't know there like, I, i've definitely seen some that aren't available to be played but um well like a lot of the like the character stats because they all have being that they're like set characters there's like five of them they have strengths and weaknesses that are that directly correlate to other characters, mm -hmm. but, but some a lot of them, made. yeah, a lot of them, they're like, we haven't figured this out. Well, they're like, very we're still, yeah, we're still balancing these characters. They're out. very much in the design phase. Oh, like, yeah. like, like, yeah. like, I saw a tweet from Jaffe like today that's like, uh, we we updated it overnight. Uh, it, the uh, it should take longer to kill people now, and the matches should be longer. Let me know what you think about that. Like, yeah. it's very. In fact, I feel a little close to this project. Uh, at times, because there's not a lot of people playing this thing, yeah. and I started tweeting about it, and Jaffe's just like, like saying, "Well, what do you like? What do you dislike? What do you think?" And I'm like, "Well, maybe, maybe like this type of weapon, like maybe a weapon that has some like light homing that does like low damage to counter like all the bullshit cyborgulas." Fucking cyborgulas. And, and he's like, "Okay, well, tell me, 
tell me how you think this weapon should be designed dude, or wait, whatever. And wait, I'm, you talking about Cyborgula's like the special flying, thing? Dude. No, it's not flying. the fact that he flies. He flies really hard to hit. But they're tweaking. Someone them. should have told me that last night because I was getting fucking murdered left and right. <laughs> well, in okay, so here's the other thing. Like, so this is the third private a alpha access that they've done. I forget what they call it. And some of the people that are playing, of which there are not a lot, yeah. have been playing since that first uh, yeah. uh, alpha, and they're really fucking good at this game. Yeah. And this is a very Twitch-based throwback shooter. This is not from the era of a lot of um, like like uh, aim assist and stuff. And there are a lot of like systems and things to remember oh, yeah. while you're playing. Like a crazy amount of depth. That that's the very twisted metal DNA where yeah. like every special has like different phases and modes to it. And like there's yeah. there's a lot of hidden secret depth where um, you know again that was that was kind of back you know again. Yeah. Twisted Metal started out that way, where a lot of moves that like characters would have secret moves that they wouldn't, the game wouldn't tell you, the manual wouldn't tell you. Yes. People just had to sort of figure out, you know, yeah. kind of like Mortal Kombat fatalities back in the day. Yeah. And then people would start doing them, and they'd start telling other people, and that stuff was really secretive. And and, and I feel like that DNA has been in the series this entire time, even though like with say the most recent Twisted Metal, they kind of started telling you how to do all this other secret stuff. But that, that kind of tra translates here where when I first started playing Johnny Savage, I had no idea how a special worked. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then I, I learned, oh, well, you could shoot it out. But then I found out that if you sort of rhythmically time it, that there's like when, when he pops a dude up and you time it right, like like he'll you'll Another thing will pop times, out, yeah. but but it, you can't just mash it. You kind of kind of learn the timing, and it does like twice as much damage that way. Yeah. Or like I remember, I I was I was I, I popped into the archive because Crispy played like a, a match or two of this the other night, yeah. and I, I just wanted to see like, um, you know, how much he played, I guess, and if he was eating shit, which you know I assumed you might I because. Was <laughs> And, and, and he was like, I don't even know the how only, this. You, you were you were in the tutorial trying out this saw weapon, right? Yeah. And you were like, I have no idea how this works. And then yeah, you just I didn't even weapons. know what it was doing because it wasn't like when I was pulling the trigger, it wasn't doing the same thing like twice. So so here's <laughs> like, the here's the thing, and and this is just an example of kind of the depth. This saw weapon, you hit somebody twice with it, and then it starts like this blade mode, and that meter fills up. And if you time it right, it's it's you start spinning the blade on the end of your saw, and then the next two shots with that do fifty percent damage each, like what? insane damage. That's so so, so obtuse, yeah, yeah. Like, it, but that's what I'm talking about. Like <laughs> the whole that's, game looks obtuse. That's sort of like this hidden yeah. depth that some people might not catch on the surface, but if you learn it and you're like really good at it. It's, you know, you could be really fucking deadly. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> but, I mean, the, the thing is, this game is, is still very much in that design phase. It's, um, oh, okay, well, Chai is correcting me. Yeah, but even some, some weapons have, like, you know, damage over time and whatnot. But, yeah. but I'll, I'll, it, it still feels really early in the sense that they're still changing stuff like constantly yeah and, and the community if you go onto the forums you know people are saying like this is overpowered and they're like all right well on friday this is getting nerfed you know like it's it feels very organic i feel a little too close to it at this point now Dude, we are because playing, we are playing now jeff is just actively tweeting me about this game and we were we were playing it the other day and we were we were matchmaking and I saw Indiana Jaffe and I was like wait is it is that David Scott Jaffe oh god like my first ma couple matches was with him and I just got destroyed wait, was it him yeah yeah oh. that's his that's his uh, PSN PSN name. who was there was a guy last night that was a random name tactical he's really good too yeah. Yeah. the thing Dude, is that I saw the footage I knew all the people you played with because the community well, is super well, tiny of them, it was it was me Chai Tai and uh, somebody else from chat Deputy last Dangle night. he's Deputy really good. Dangle yeah. yeah. And he was, he was... See, but he was playing since the last Private Access. So uh, he's pretty good, too. But, you know, I, I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. You know, it, it, it's... it's it. I kind of wish they were in vehicles, but what are you going to do? <laughs> the thing about this game is, if, if they're going for a free-to-play model, it's going to be really interesting to see, like, how often they introduce, like, new characters and stuff. They're because still trying that, to figure that's all the that kind out. Of stuff, that's the kind of stuff that would be, like, the bread and butter of, like, if you were playing this game and you were following it, like, them releasing a new character would be a big deal. But it's not like putting a new car into Rocket League where it's just, like, a cosmetic thing. It's like, you have to rebalance the whole fucking game yeah. around this one character. Like, how much, how much, like, and, and all the weapons, like you're saying, like, they work completely differently. Like, how often can you keep 
like producing reliable well, content I, I, that isn't like breaking the game. I think it's you that know? you have to take a lot of time when you're creating that new content to make sure it gels yeah. well with everything else. Instead of balancing everything else to match with that, I think when it comes to once the game is actually out, that you have to just any new content you add. You have to either make sure it gels well before you put sure. out the con or like mess with it right now, and then when the game comes out, then just kind of hold off a little while. I mean, because I just, I just hope it's not like like a Team Fortress Two situation uh, where they got yeah. to a point where they were just like throwing new guns into the game, and it was just like it doesn't even really matter if any of this works with each other. <laughs> like, like it's all just chaos. I'll say <laughs> this: um, they they do seem real kind of obsessed with balance and historically like if you look at say that last twist of metal game um after that game shipped jaffe was like well i, I am leaving um i'm gonna start my own studio but i'm still gonna stick around and make sure like you know these patches come out because uh -huh. they were constantly kind of patching and updating that game uh balance wise even though you know they had a lot of struggles early on like a lot of server problems when that game first launched and um, you know, but they were still real committed to to stuff like you know balance, where you know usually, what I'm saying is usually when a when a multiplayer game is kind of having more serious issues, they kind of put stuff like balance on the back burner. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they they were constantly actively changing that game. Is this when you're playing with me? Yep. Watch. watch the, was it this one? This this uh, fucking weapon. Uh, I killed myself right there. So here, here, this is an example of like this crazy ass style is like, there's this uh, what is it called, the weapon? Uh, Uncle Jim? Uncle Uncle Joe. Uncle, Uncle Joe, yeah. And he's just, he's just like a corpse. It's, you you pull out the yeah, casket. Huh. It's a, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a corpse in a casket. Yeah. And you like launch him out of the casket. But it's really powerful. It does like seventy damage yeah. or something out of a hundred. I think it's like ninety. Or maybe yeah, 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 yeah. It is. It's ninety. It's ninety. So they're only left with ten health. Uh, but the problem is that you, you, it's only one use, and you have to reload it. And reloading it, it's you pulling a new corpse out of the yeah, ground. Which is so but cool. it takes like oh. fifteen seconds. Well, you can't move. The whole, the whole like sound effects. Yeah. And, and you can hear it. Yeah, you, you can like, hear you when can they're hear reloading. The music. You can hear like people reloading, which is cool. And, mm. and I, I, I feel like there's a lot of. Is there music in this music? game? Because yeah. I feel like well, when I played it at E3, there not was all, like a lot. Like like the training level doesn't have like hardly any. See, oh, I don't think there's the, music in the. Maybe I played oh, the training there's level. There's a lot of stuff. Well, there's a lot. But there's of stuff a lot that of diegetics. Because like. I played yeah. when I played so. it at E3, I remember thinking because I they had headphones at the booth, and I remember thinking to myself, this game is really cool, but like I can't. Yeah, hearing I, music. I was like, is it glitch? I don't is think the they've gotten off? there yet. But I don't know if they want to have music because. A lot of the moves and stuff are very musical, and like it's something wow. very sound based. Like like when I was playing with um, there there what's are this some... fuck uh, <laughs> Nico's in or whatever. Like he's a cyborgula that uses this charge oh, bow and arrow. Like he's the fucking worst. It's called the fister, and it's like it's like of course. It, the oh, more you yeah. charge it, the more like fist. It's, like the fist starts holding more sticks of dynamite. Yeah, it's a giant fist that's holding dynamite, and the longer you charge it, it's just like a big bundle of dynamite, and then you shoot that with the. But bow. the thing it's is, so as cool. you're charging so cool. it, you hear the bowstring going, like squeaking, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and I'd be in like uh, this that you know the city a alien the alien city or whatever, um, and and you could hear it. And like I knew when I heard that sound, like oh my god, I'm gonna die. I got it. I I knew to run for cover. Or like when you hear one of like Johnny Savage like playing a song, you're like, where's the bubble? Where's the bubble? <laughs> because you know if you're in there, you know it, it can fuck you up. So I'm wondering if the lack of music is like if, if if anything. This is me reloading. Yeah. The yeah. fucking Uncle Joe. Oh, that's cool. Like I, pulling I, a casket out of the ground. I wonder if if some of the stuff is actually going to get even more musical, if you will. Um, some of the stuff and I, so I, I guess my my biggest frustration with it was something that was I've already voiced and Jaffe told me, oh no, we're working on it. So again, it's kind of weird, but and it's just it's just a part of the alpha. But when you pick a character, this is a free to play yeah. game, and they're still trying to figure this out. And when I was interviewing him at E three, he was like looking for my input on maybe like how we should do this free to play thing. It's it sounds like they really don't want to fuck it up. They don't want to to you know they don't feel like anybody. they don't want to alienate anybody, but they still want to make money, and they're trying to find like that good balance. You can kind of tell there there's like. The hooks for like lots of different types of currency and whatnot in there, and I fucking hate that guy. But in this alpha, you have to pick a character. You got to pick your first like three weapons or whatever, and and you're locked in. 
until you start unlocking um, which you know, is not earning coins which is not stuff. in 10 minutes it's no, 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 it's no. quite a while before yeah. you can unlock new stuff but again i mean that stuff might be rebalanced but but the thing is is i was like i was getting frustrated because i kind of want to use a different character and it but he said that there's going to be like they're working on some sort of remorse system so i guess if you don't like what you chose you can kind of repick or whatnot which I, I i think the best way to handle it is to let the player play a few online match kind of like um with with any setup they want for the most part maybe somewhat limited and then kind of choose their initial setup so they got some feel in the real in real gameplay um, outside of just that tutorial, I think you should just be able to play X amount of times with a certain character, with well, each character. Well, that, you, you earn trial coins, which will let you use another character, or you can use it for like a, a new weapon type. Um, like so, so even though I've I've been locked into Johnny Savage, I used my some of my trial coins on using another character called Ninja, which yeah. is a, a sh half shark, half like anime schoolgirl, <laughs> and and like. Just to kind of see her moves and stuff, because I don't see a lot of people playing her, because it's not one of the initial starting characters, and it seems like it's completely different for one thing. Each I, character. I'm saying this though, like, like there's some really cool skins for these characters. Oh yeah, the skins L are pretty cool. Like, there's like Cyberpunk Johnny and like Luchador Johnny, and they all look really cool. And I saw a video of somebody playing Luchador Johnny, and his guitar is like completely different as, and stuff as well. Like it, it really does change the look and feel of the character. And and I gotta be honest, like I could see myself like like if if, if they price the currency right, I could see myself wanting to spend some real money on unlocking some of this other stuff just because. There's just so much style in this game, and like all these characters, they seem so different. Like you know, Alan the the yeah. rabbit, mm -hmm. his mobility move is just invisibility. Yeah. He he can't pick up health because he has like slow regenerating health. Mm -hmm. So he's like the only character that can't use get well, health. See, and that's the problem is I didn't realize I was gonna be stuck with Johnny when I chose him. Yeah. And Alan sounds like more my type of character, but then I can't change until I get like a fucking thousand coins. Yeah. Yeah, which you know I've gotten a thousand, but well, because you played it for fucking thirty hours. How long, no, is, how long is the alpha going? Um, I mean, no one really knows. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Well, I hope you're gonna don't spend too much time here, Brad, because you know it's December, right? Yeah, I know, I know. It, <laughs> it's, I know, I know. You crazy? Uh, the the last thing I want to say is an apology to uh, icy dude. <laughs> Fuck that guy. So, so when I first, when that first that, time I was that's playing, who that's who's in this match. Yeah, I know. that's the guy who keeps killing me over and over yeah. and fucking over. So icy dude, he's he's good. He's real good. And the first time I was playing with him, I was not like I was just getting like destroyed over and over and over again. And you know we, had, I mean, I had given out some codes. I wanted to play people from with people from our community because we all were kind of new to the game, and I didn't want. I wanted to. Thought you were saving this for your four player minute. What did you do, Brad? Oh, it's fine. You can no, no, I, I was, okay. I was, I was kicking him out of the game. Or what I was telling everybody who I was playing with on the feed to, if he shows up in a game, just exit out. If 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 he shows up in the, well, you know, like when you're picking, yeah, the, the, we're setting the, up a match, yeah. just exit out. <laughs> and Every then, time we saw him, we were just exiting out, and I feel I felt bad. And I, I didn't really have a way to communicate. I guess I could have tried to send him a message, but. So I went over to the Drawn to Death forums, and apparently he thinks it was a connection issue, and he's been complaining about it on the forums. I actually found, like, it, it was a post by somebody else going, oh, man, I, ho I hope they fix these connection issues. I know Icy Dude's been having some problems. <laughs> so and they're, like, going through all their net code and everything, <laughs> just, like, <laughs> like, trying to, like, fix a problem that Did doesn't you tell exist. <laughs> what? No, I was tweeting about it. Like, oh, I'm so... I, 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 linked, to, I linked to the post... And no, I linked to the post, and and the official drawn to death Twitter account tweeted me. He's like, "Oh, I'm sorry. Like, like we're working on. I mean, you know, we're looking into connection issues and stuff." And, and I was like, "No, that's not why I posted this. I posted this because he wasn't having connection issues. We were just ditching him every time. So he probably thought that." And and, and, and the official drawn to death Twitter account was like, "Ice cold, man. Ice cold," which was an icy dude pun. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but it's kind of funny, but it's kind of not. Ice cold, Cause dude. The thing is, well, there is not a lot of people playing this yeah, game right now. It's like, and, and the fact that he can't get into a match probably means he's not playing a match. 
Yeah, there's one match in the world yeah. going on at a time, and, and he's, he's just watching it. Like, <laughs> dude, that is the that is the best. That is the him. fucking best. I, I just I, I feel bad. That's ice cold. <laughs> <laughs> should we name the show? Yeah, after we should him? name the show in his the honor. The icy dude show. Sorry, Sorry, dude, that would be great. I'm gonna name the show. Bro, the fuck icy that dude guy. Show. I hate him. No, that's him. That's him in number one right yeah. there. Every time we play him, he just fucking just destroys us. This is the thing. This is why you can't go back and play like Quake Three, even though that was a great game. Yeah. Because there are still people playing Quake Three, and they're so much better than you. And that's like all because every every once in a while we'll jump onto factions mm -hmm. and like we'll start up a match yeah. and it puts us in with random people and like we're all level like eighty. It's like 50. if you're playing factions. Yeah, and then like there's people we get put up against that are level like five hundred, and I just immediately back out. I'm like, no thanks. Like, <laughs> like I those, no, nope. <laughs> those people who bought the Last of Us bundle on the PS4 like and when haven't it first put it came down, out, yeah. and they haven't bought another game yeah. since then because <laughs> they it's like they spent all their money. on <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but at least like Last of Us is somewhat slow paced. Right? No, and, the, yeah. and that's yeah. so that's, twitchy. That's, that's, that's people that's, sniping you out of the air. That's the only reason that we still play it is because it's team based and it's a little slower, so it yeah. still can be done. This, team. yeah, like the, you can you can like spawn in and then die like two seconds later and not know what just happened. The frequency with which I was dying in this game was like, wow, this is really this is like yeah, well, really look, cool. I like a lot of these ideas and systems. Fuck this game. <laughs> well, hey, lucky for you, you were playing cheap-ass Cyborgula, so every time you did die, you would explode someone else. That's the only way I got kills, Brad. <laughs> and I didn't even get points for those kills because I was dying at the same time. Fuck Cyborgula. Fuck they're, you! They're nerfing that asshole. I yeah. saw on Twitter, or I saw on the forums, that they're they're re they're making his flight less abusive. Good. Oh, my God. That guy. What? That's not even, like, I was... That you just didn't know how thing. to do it. That can't be a thing because I was flying everywhere last night and like anyone who had a gun was just like pop 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 you're dead. Pop 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 you're dead. Like it's ridiculous. Like, what gun I were you using? Uh, I had the I had the uh, I had the shotgun. I had the well, I couldn't find a gun that I liked. None well, so, of them seemed so, to do so damage. That, that's the problem. Is the, is the other problem? Is, 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 <laughs> he, you need a ranged weapon with him. No, I had the fucking um, the laser gun that you can charge up. Why are you pointing at me? I didn't play. Well, it. See, but that, that, I heard that's hard to aim. I was gonna choose that. Dude, it's so hard to aim because, yeah. like you were saying, there's no aim assist, and that one well, what being Brad, a laser, what, you have to be. Well, that's what I'm talking about. What Brad's talking like, about right with, with either the bow or like Uncle Joe or something. I think you would be much more successful because. Rocket launcher because you can have all the time no. in the world to be flying and dodging while that weapon's charging and then shoot it at them because they're on the ground because they can't fucking move. That splash damage. Yeah. 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 You know that'd be great. But I also they're I nerfing Scorchy. Scorchy was my weapon of choice. God, I oh. fucking hate Scorchy. Uh, I <laughs> love Scorchy. I except I set myself on fire half the time, but it's still really powerful. Uh, all right. Sorry. We're gonna play Drawn to Death more. Yeah, I am sure. Right, well. In fact, as soon as it comes out, I'm sure we'll all be playing it quite a bit. I'm, ho I'm hoping we'll hear some announcement uh, at uh, I the, think tomorrow. The PlayStation Experience? Maybe no, this no, weekend? it's PlayStation Experience this weekend because that's where they announced it last it year. Is? Yeah, and and this I is gonna be an exclusive. Uh, uh, well, PS4. Yeah, it's a, so. it's an exclusive. Yeah. Okay. Um, by the way, you know this is this is just a random thought. I just had it pop in my head because I just realized. So I'm broadcasting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I was going to start playing uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. That's a mm -hmm. great game, uh, which I do want to play. Uh, but I also realized tomorrow night's the Game Awards, and that's where all those big big announcements come. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. What if I streamed myself watching the show before I broadcast before. it? Ori you in should the Blind play Forest. Ori while you're streaming, but just not like show them Ori. Like you just play Ori and watch. <laughs> what if I just stream Ori, but I pause every time there's an announcement? <laughs> Uh, yeah. you, you could do that. that. I'm gonna f we'll probably I'll probably do something like that tomorrow. Ori's Anyways. really good. You better play Ori. I know I'm going to. That's one of the, that's one of the games on that li that short list I told you about. By the way, um, I, before we move on, my frustrations aside, I do really like enjoy what I've experienced of John to Death so far. I'm yeah. excited about seeing. I, I think product. it's a little hard to get into. My first couple of matches, I was just getting completely well, destroyed. Yeah, I. I uh, but then after I, you kind of learn the mechanics, learn the level, learn it, where things are, it gets a little better. It'll be a lot better when there isn't, you know, 12 people in the world playing yeah. the game and they've yeah. already no one's really logged fucking way sneaky. more. What? Way more time than I have. What? No one's it's the, the same no, thing. No the kind of guy who hangs it's, out in the corner of the it, map with some overpowered fucking weapon. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's it's the same thing with uh, fucking Spy Party. There's like half a dozen people in the world who play Spy yeah. Party, and they've all played 
thousands of hours more than you have. But these like, games aren't out yet. They're I not know, out. I know, yet. I know. And when when they get an actual like community, it'll be remember great. this is free to play. So the, so it's at least initially it's going to have a lot of people. Oh around. yeah, a shit ton. Yes. All right. Sorry. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I know uh, Nolan has a game. Do you have a game or game? Two games or three games or four? How many games? <laughs> How much more How many about, games? about Fallout are we going to talk about? Uh, I was just going to make like a comment or two. Okay. Not nothing. But you want to talk about. Albert Nato, right? Correct. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, and and I, I, I guess, did I talk about Minecraft Episode 3 yet? You talked about a lot of Minecraft episodes. I don't know if, that, if 3 was one of them. I can't believe they're already on 3. Yeah. I, I wanted to briefly talk about that one, too. But anyway. Crispy? Hmm? You have a game? <gasps> No. No, all right. We'll World talk about, of Warcraft? We'll talk, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we'll we'll talk about Albert Nato when we come back, and uh, we'll also do community and news. So stick with us. We'll be back. Yeah. Brad, are you ready for the bump spot? I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, wait. This is it. This is the bump spot. Hello, everybody. It's uh, it is 2015 is quickly approaching, Brad, or the end of 2015 is quickly approaching. How do you feel about that, Brad? I feel terrible, Nick. Absolutely. Why do you feel terrible? terrible because I have too many games to play. I think we all do, and of course, uh, as we always do, the, as the end of the year approaches, we start to put together our personal top ten list. We all put together a video at the end of the year, uh, and it's it's uh, it's proving to be a little bit difficult this year. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, we still have a lot of games to play, and we still we've already kind of hashed out our preliminary list, but ha, let's be honest, those are going to change. They don't mean shit. They don't mean shit. Um, but I, we do want to go ahead and let everybody know that they can expect top 10 videos from us uh, probably early to mid-January, I think is when we usually release them. Uh, we will also be doing uh, the two community-based videos that we did, we've did. we been doing the past two years, which is uh, top 10 uh, broadcast moments of the year, or top 10 community-voted highlights of the year. So, uh, we will be putting out a poll for everyone to vote on those uh, in the next in the coming weeks. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, we will also be doing a community voted top ten video, like the top ten video games of 2015, as voted by you guys in the community. So we always have a lot of fun doing these videos. So keep your eyes peeled for them. Uh, on the broadcast this week, Nolan, you had uh, you had a thing coming up, right? Well, the the Uncharted Four multiplayer beta is out this weekend. Yep. Uh, it's, it's from the 3rd through the 13th, uh, so anybody who has the uh, Nathan Drake collection has mm -hmm. access to the beta. Cool. And uh, we're going to be playing that with the community. Over the weekend? Yep. Do you have a... Uh, is it Saturday or Sunday? Uh, Friday is when I'm doing my cast, okay. and I'll be playing it during my cast. And I assume you'll probably be playing more of it over the weekend. Probably. We know you, Nolan. We know how you like to do... Dude, this is like a fast-paced Factions. Yep. They literally took a, like all the good stuff from Factions and threw it into Uncharted. Yep. So that's and exciting. Some craziness. Yeah, too. Anyways, also uh, cool. tomorrow night, which is Thursday, or yeah, Thursday night. Holy shit! Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday oh. night, uh, I'll be broadcasting, uh, and that also happens to coincide with the uh, the video game awards, which happens to also be now probably the second biggest place where we see big game announcements outside of E3. Um, so that should be exciting tomorrow night. I'll probably be finding some way to kind of split my time between broadcasting and streaming my reactions to the trailers and whatnot tomorrow because I'm going to be doing them at the same time. So uh, if you're, if you're going to be watching the Game Awards and you want to hang out in the broadcast, come join me tomorrow night, probably around, I'll be starting probably around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., going till midnight. Should be fun. Um, but with that, I think we're going to go ahead and jump back into the podcast. It's getting late, so goodbye. Oh, bump out, motherfuckers. God, that was weak, Brad. Weak! I'm recording now. This is the podcast. Cool. He always takes pictures with celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I met you too. Oh, no. uh, oh my god! All right, uh, where do we go? Where do we go from here? Nolan, what's up? Nolan, you played a game. Yeah, I played feed. games. What'd you play? I played Albert and Otto. Yes, the I adventure begins. One. Yes, I was actually unaware this was an episodic game, which is ironic. I was unaware of it too until I got to the end of the game, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I mean, I guess the fact that it's called the adventure begins. So I feel bad. You we, should. We played this game at PAX, uh, PAX Prime last year. It was actually one of our, our the games we awarded our one of our game of shows for <laughs> the year. For the show. Interesting, like, because I expected you guys to kind of be jumping on this thing as soon like, as it I came out. I would, dude. 
I would if the, if it wasn't just complete utter chaos right now. Well, I, mean, I thought you would have at least Hold played on. it off the field. Just just buy the buy. I, this is on my I, list. I beat this entire thing in two and a half hours. Well, then I will. Well, it's episodic. Well, it's episodic. well I know, but, but this episode, I don't know when the rest comes out. I don't know if this is considered. I it mean, might, if if it, it, like for me when so it comes to a, game of year stuff, if if the game is not complete by the end of the year, I don't consider it coming out this yeah. year. No, of yeah. course not. Uh, but yeah, no. So Al- Albert Nato, uh, it is a. Uh, Puzzle-based platformer, see. Uh, as you can see. Uh, some people have likened it to Limbo. Visually, and obviously. Well, I will admit, yes, because it's a black and white puzzle-based yeah. platformer. It's similar. I do think it has a lot of elements that kind of uh, make it uh, a, a little bit different. There's, there's more of a story to this game. Uh, as you saw, I just kind of got like a letter in that in the mailbox. And as you go, you kind of get these letters, and they're very simple. They're like drawings that a child has done. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you kind of have to kind of figure out what's going on in these drawings, and it seems like you're ap- you're chasing after lady, some girl you don't know much about, uh, and you're trying to figure that out. I and believe- so the game, obviously, it starts off really simple. It's just you, uh, and all you can do is jump and push things, and you have a gun. I don't know why the fuck this kid has a fucking gun, but oh, he it's does. It's not a gun. It's like a fucking Mega Man Buster. There's no explanation like, as to how he got the gun. Like Buster Cannon. Well, did, you don't start out with Otto, the, no. the, the bunny. No, you, no, you, you get him in like ten minutes, not even ten minutes, okay. like yeah. five minutes. Like I'm gonna get him pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, so you start off with a gun, uh, and you can use it to like shoot things. Uh, sometimes birds will come down and attack you, and you gotta shoot them. Birds. Yeah, because uh, they'll carry you off and kill you. Uh, and you shoot like it's kind of for the puzzle, so you'll they'll be like. Um, uh, like maybe like a big box that's suspended by a rope, and you shoot the rope, and the box falls, and now you can use that box to climb up something. Uh, but the real the real uh, puzzle elements come into play as soon as you get Auto, uh, which will be here in the next few seconds. If I remember correctly, some of the puzzles where you have to use Auto or. Oh yeah, they get very so that's that's where it's they're, it's, they're approaching Lara Croft go. Territory. It's very timing based, and you kind of have to figure so so the, you can you have auto, and when you're carrying him, you can double jump. Yes, which is nice. Uh, and then as soon as you drop him, you can no longer double jump. But he has the ability uh, to uh, kind of like electrify himself. Uh, the the rabbit does. Yeah. And so you can use that to power certain things. Like there are certain like circuits that control like lifts that go up and down that control all these different things. Uh, and so you can use him, but you can also use him uh, as a as a weight. So say you know there's a uh, multiple platforms you need to be touching at the same time. You can drop him on one and go to another. Did but this, also, did this episode have there was like a puzzle with like a boulder that's rolling and you have to yes. end up going to yeah. yes it has that one. It's that was. And nice. so that's Sorry. the other thing is this game will also have elements that are going on in the background. Yeah. That that interact with puzzles and stuff like that. That was what threw me off when I was first playing. Is it, it took me a while to realize that it's I need to be background. paying attention to yeah. both the foreground and the background. Exactly. Um, and so this is an example of where oh I can't get through there, so I need to drop Auto off on the the platform, so it, it so the barrier is no longer in my way. But now I can't double jump anymore. Uh, and so I'm limited what I can do, but I have this box, and I can put the box on there and get auto back and then go along my merry way. Um, the other element uh, besides, you know, auto and his electricity and shooting is you have this, once you gain the electricity, which is fairly soon, you have the ability to kind of like levitate things. Mm-hmm. You can uh, pull things in the environment. You can pull, push, throw uh, so there are some objects like these rocks that you can kind of pick up and then you can throw them. You essentially throw them by hovering them and then shooting them with your gun. Yeah. And it blasts them. Um, and more, you know, more puzzle solving stuff. So there's no explanation as to why he had, why the bunny can electrify himself. Or uh, why. Well, the, that that gets explained when uh, when you when in in a few minutes here when we walk up to a tree and the tree gets struck by lightning and then now you you were standing next to it. Are or, you replaying this? Yes. Okay. No, I was going to say you this seem is, to no, be blasting I, I, through this. No, yeah, I am blasting through this. At this point in the game, when I was broadcasting it, because I broadcasted it first, instead of being what what am I now like two minutes in? I was probably like thirty minutes in, maybe not thirty minutes. Uh, but this puzzle took me a while to figure out when I was broadcasting. But obviously now that I know the solution, yeah, I'm just doing it real quick. Um, and so I try to kind of go slow, but it's one of those things where when you know what you're doing, you can't really go slow. Yeah. Uh, and, and so I, I, in the 15 minutes that it, there is of this footage, it probably would take maybe 45 minutes yeah. for a first-time person playing it. Um, but yeah, uh, and and so the you can levitate things. So you use that to like there are these long pits of uh, spikes, and you have to like levitate some some blocks in between them to jump across the blocks. 
But then it gets a little weird when you start levitating sheep. Hmm? So there's Oh, I forgot about the yeah, sheep. Yeah, there are sheep in this game. And you can do some bad things to the sheep. Like, Fuck you can sheep. throw them on the spikes to make a platform for yourself. And you can throw them to, like, wild, like, dogs that are trying to attack you. That's and you can up. set them on fire to use them as a light when you're in the cave, because the cave's too dark. What they have so you set a fucking sheep on fire, and it's, like, screaming in agony as you're levitating it through a cave. <laughs> and it's just fucking on fire. <laughs> like, freaking out. Does it ever die? Uh, yeah, eventually it dies. That's fucked the, up. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. Uh, but one thing, so this, there's like a wind-blowing mechanic right here. This is the only time you see it in this episode. So I think one of the things is this episode was kind of short. And it feels like uh, I really do hope that the uh, next episodes are either longer or there's just more mechanics so to them. So one thing about this game, um, when we played it, so this game is actually developed by one person. Mm -hmm. It's literally just, it's literally a, a pair of brothers that, were, that, are play, that are building this game. One guy does all the development and design. The other guy handles like the business side of things. Mm -hmm. So this game is literally like hands-on, like designed and built from the ground up by one person. Which yeah, kind of. But crazy. I mean, just programming and design. What about art and music? And he stuff? does all of it. Yeah, I mean, like all the creative stuffs. The one guy, the other dude's like his publicist. Yeah. Like. So I met the entire dev team. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, oh, this is the puzzle yeah, I was talking about. So like, you, you see about. how the the boulders in the background, like. That it took me a while to, to like, no, when think I first, about when it. When I first played this puzzle, yeah, it took me like like five ten minutes. This puzzle was kind yeah, of a right. bitch, but yeah, I mean, as soon as I know what I'm doing, I'm like, oh, dude, drop the, him there. Like, this and whole do part this. you're watching right now is actually the PAX demo. Like after this yeah. this this puzzle right I, here, the PAX demo ended. Like people were spending like forty five minutes. Oh to no, an hour yeah, like I said, it took demo. me two and a half hours to beat this my first try. Yeah, I think replaying it for this footage, I probably could have beat it in like half an hour. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's, I mean, it's a puzzle game. So once you know what, how to do it, it's easy to do. Yeah. Are you are you interested enough? You think you're going to play the other I uh, No, yeah, I'll or? definitely play the rest of the game. Uh, I, I liked it. This is actually the first boss right here. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is the this is the the, the end of the PAX demo. And and, I, and I, I, I beat him on my second try because I forgot one of his mechanics. Em Emily but broke it and accidentally... Uh, she ended up like glitching it to the point where she could basically just got a bunch of cheap shots in and killed him in like nice two seconds. Uh, when, when I played this on the feed, this took me a long time to, to beat this boss. I'm about yeah. to beat him right here. It's a cool, like, it's a cool looking boss fight. No, though. yeah, like, no, it's it's a really interesting concept. I li I, I like it. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, um, the 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 thing that gave me the most difficulty is later on you're like in this like. There's like this flowing river thing, and you're on a box going down the river, but you have to keep getting off the box to kind of open up uh, passageways to get through. And it's very, if you mess up timing, like you're fucked. Yeah. Uh, and so it's it's a lot more uh, twitch. You got to be really quick and know what you're doing. And so it almost becomes, to an extent, trial and error. Uh, just so you can kind of get through some of the stuff. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I really enjoy it. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to check out the rest of the episodes. I have I have a code too, so I'm probably going to. This is on my list. Of, the thing is, it's not really like you said. Since it's not coming out, the only one episode's out so far. It's not really a yeah, game is, ender for me, obviously. But is it? Does it feel strange that this is episodic? Uh, it does. But I, hearing that it comes from one guy, I can understand then. But I mean. Are we? Uh, are you at all worried that if this game isn't very successful, that there might not be any more? Episodes? I mean, it's, it's potential, but it's it's also that it's it's cheap. It's like, well, like it, it, on Steam, it's like four bucks. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and so, uh, uh, to an extent, yeah. But like I said, I, I had fun. I had fun with the uh, the time I spent with it. <sighs> Uh, and so I, I, I had enough fun that I'd be willing to play the, at least the next episode. Yeah. And it's one of those things where if each episode keeps me hooked why not keep playing i know I, I'm, just, I'm just worried that it could really be lost in the shuffle because steam these days is oh just... no yeah i could definitely see it getting lost in like all the shuffleware like the yeah. stuff that just well, yeah. a lot of games get lost in the shuffle nowadays just because steam is so accessible and there's so much out there um anything else guys oh i i, I could briefly mention the uh Lara Croft go dlc you don't have to no, <laughs> it's bullshit. It's yeah, fucking I mean, it's, bullshit. It's I think that's the consensus. I mean, all three of us in this couch that are playing it are having. It's like it's not easy. I didn't know about it until today. Yeah, and then I was like, "What? There's DLC," and I booted it up. I got stuck on the first fucking level. Yeah, so I'm like, uh, I think well, Brad stuck in the room right before me. I which I I that one puzzle I spent like an hour trying to do, and and when you look at the size of the levels. 
of each like room. Each room is like one puzzle. Yeah. And to th- and you can you can see the whole room in one screen. You're not really moving from one screen to the next. And like I literally spent an hour looking at one yeah screen. They they trying... can be pretty tough. And like the weird the, the the thing about this this particular DLC is that like these are these new levels are like so like strict as to as far as like your movement pattern through the level that like not only is it a matter of knowing how to manipulate the level and get around the fucking resurrecting spiders and all this shit but like you have to go down a path and if you accidentally if you you know if you're supposed to go right and you actually go left and on accident and then think oh shit i meant to go it's right and then go back right yeah, you've already like, fucked up yeah it's it's nuts it's nuts it's, i mean it's 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 a puzzle in the sense that yeah, every move counts, and yeah. there's very few times when you can. And the and the and the core game, especially in the earlier levels, you had a much more freedom. If you if you look back on it, the later levels were pretty much like this. They yeah. were very you. There only were a set number of moves you could do, and if you fucked up, you had to restart. Mm-hmm. And and these are like that. Uh, it's just they're much right more the complicated, get-go. especially because in in the previous levels, you know, you would kill enemies and they're gone. But now, like most of the enemies end up respawning. But that actually comes into play in like puzzles. y'all aren't there yet, but there's some puzzles coming up because I'm I think I'm one or two levels ahead of y'all now. <laughs> that you have to kill an enemy, kill, and then get somewhere else to position yourself so you can get it to you know what I'm yeah. saying like there that comes into play yeah i've had a it's lot really cool. it's tough it it's it's a pain in the dick but i'll be honest like the gameplay hook is still fucking it's incredible it's satisfying kind of deconstructing those puzzles kind of like well no matter what this is going to have to yeah. happen i mean i'm pretty convinced that the room i'm on is just trolling me <laughs> i've literally done the same <sighs> path like 50 times well, that's one the definition room. of insanity nick try a different path i there's no other paths <laughs> Oh my god! It's, it's one of those things where as soon as you see the solution, you're gonna be really mad at yourself because it's Dude, like, god damn, it was that, there the whole that fucking room that, time. The, the room that Brad's stuck on right now today, like I tried it like That's fifty times. I, I, mean, I tried it's... doing it like fifty times yesterday, and then today I went back after my lunch break and I did it. And on my first try, I was like, oh shit, I got it! Yeah. And I was going towards the exit, and then I forgot. So there's those switches you have to you have to push. Mm-hmm. I thought I had to kill the spider on the switch. You had to kill it off. Had the to switch. kill it off the switch. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, shit. And I tried to make a run for the door, and then it stepped from the switch, and, and the thing came out off, and pushed yeah. me off the cliff. And I was yeah. like, son of a bitch. Yeah. And then I, for the next two or three tries, I couldn't remember the path I took to get to that point again. It's kind of one of those things where it's like sometimes, like Brad was saying, like you'll see what you got to do, and you're like, oh, this is easy. And you start doing it, and you're like, oh, wait, this is much more complicated than I thought. Yeah. Or it's, it's kind of one of those things where, yeah, like you know something has to happen. Like this spider obviously has to hit this thing. Because if I hit it, it's going to kill me. So you, it's kind of one of those things where you know there is something you have to do. And so it's kind of trying just, to manipulate the world to get to there. I think man, there's man. a level that y'all are coming up on. I think the one after the one you're on, it took me like a while to kind of figure out what I was like. Uh, I will, like, you know, I will what say. If, hmm. What if in Rise of the Tomb Raider, I mean, it's all the same company, really. Yeah. What if in Rise of the Tomb Raider, instead of like, find all the Byzantine coins or whatever the fuck. Like what if what if they just put Lara Croft go in the rise of the That's Tomb Raider? That's what I brought engine? up before. What if the tombs were like these? Like you went into it and became like almost like this view, and like you had to like do shit like that, like puzzly. I see where you're coming from. I feel like that might be a little weird though. <laughs> Anyways, we've talked about Lara Croft go before. The game is great, yep. and I still highly recommend it. But get ready, it's kind of this new one's kind of a pain in the dick. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's uh, let's go into news. What's, what, what have we got this week? I think a lot of the news... Will, there'll be a lot of news next week because we'll yeah. have a lot of new game trailers to talk yeah. about next week. Indivisible! So is, this a game, gold. I, so is this a game I should go play? I, th- I, th- I guess there's like a playable... There's Yeah, there's a demo. A uh, proto- yeah. Everyone's, yeah. everyone's raving about it. I mean, you don't have to play it uh, because it's being made now, so I mean, it's it's coming out. But what I, uh, I, I don't even know what the game is. It's really. what it is and the developer, which yeah. is exciting. Those who's, two things. Who's yeah. the developer again? Uh, the d- developer of Skull Skullgirls, which is a fighting oh, game, okay, gotcha. but it was a really beautiful. Yeah, and it's cool all about the game. animations and yeah. you know how much time and and. Yeah, what kind of game is this? It is a Castlevania slash RPG, like Metroidvania RPG. Okay, uh, I can see. T- that. Take Metroidvania, but like actual RPG so, battles. Yeah, whenever you go to fight something, it goes but, into a turn-based fighting. Uh, you know, battle gotcha. scenario. But, but it's not like slow. I mean, it's not no, like yeah. it's not like 
you know, menu type battles, it's like Valkyrie Profile. It's, yeah, it's, it's very with combo one based. button. Like you have four people and you have four face buttons, and each of those face buttons control one of their attacks. And you're like chaining them together. Oh, okay. It, it's well, you, I'm still interested because a lot of people have been talking about it. Maybe I'll go play the. And I think I think there were off. like it got backed with like two and a half days left. Yeah. So coming coming close. Well, uh, that was after the extension. Well, yeah, after so. they got an extension, yeah. So they, they didn't meet their original goal, but they got an extension. And so now they did meet it. But I, I guess it's... Uh, uh, thankfully, they did because, like, fucking word of mouth, I don't know, towards the end, like, they just started getting donations like crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, started coming in. Uh, I guess people, like, realizing. I mean, well, I, I backed it yeah. because I'm I'm excited for it, and I'm, I I want to play it. I think uh, what will hap- what you see happen a lot towards the end as well is once people s- know see that it's for sure going to get backed, they'll be like, oh well, this is my last chance to maybe up, in, mm, that's up true my too. tier, yeah, because mm, maybe I do kind of want that art book or whatever. So they they bump up their tier, and you get a lot of uh, boost, more money coming in that, or way. just last minute, like, oh, I better get it in before it ends because it looks like it's going to make it, and I want the game cheaper or. You know, yeah. sure. Or but it, but it's it's one of those. It, I know it's going to be good. It's I know it's going to look great. It's one yeah. of those things where the, they they have like a video and they talk about the fact that they they hand animate like every frame of animation that's yeah. in the game. Like it, they fucking love goes into this game. So they're gonna have all these cool guest characters. Yeah, and, and that's stuff the, as well. that's one of the best things about it is all of you know all of these other indie games are lending their characters to this game. Mm-hmm. Like so, who? Uh, oh Shovel God. Knight. Yeah, Shovel, the Shovel Knight's gonna be in it. Hmm. The new one was the girl from um, what is that fucking game from Super, Super Giant Games? Oh, you're talking about Transistor. Transistor. Oh, the girl yeah. from Transistor. Red? Red's gonna be in it now. That's cool. uh, yeah, just the character uh, from Hyperlight Drifter. Hyperlight Drifter. I mean, Drifter. Like a, a lot of characters. Uh, you know, just kind of. That's cool. Yeah, I like That's I like the concept. Game. Being able to see them kind of almost in a different art style and in this different game in this different world. Hmm. Well, that's badass. Maybe yep. I'll go play it. That's cool. Um, what else do we have? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Brad, you got anything? Oh, uh, uh, Guacamelee dude is going to be in it as well. Oh, I do love me some Guacamelee. Uh, yeah, I have a news topic. Oh, yeah. yeah um, I have to remind you. <laughs> rated by uh, some European thing or whatever. Um, Peggy. Peggy rated. Um, Shadow Complex Remastered. For PC, so. yay! But this I don't is, like it. But it's Nolan, 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 Nolan doesn't like Nolan, it. Nolan, Nolan. I've, of all people, Be Brad, opti- I, I expected more from you. Be optimistic, because I mean, look what happened with you know Valkyria Chronicles. Like, it yeah, never no. underestimate Steam, and and one, you know, that's a great fucking game. No, no, yes, I do. So, 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 and and it's always been exclusive to the 360. Yep. And um, there's probably a lot of people who would love to play this game, and I could really see, you know, the Steam community kind of rallying behind that. And, and all, all they need is to, you know, smell is there that, not a lot of smell a little bit of green. There's, it, not, there's not a lot of crossover between 360 and 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 PC well, there players. Is. I mean, oh, you wait to, to an extent. Like, you gotta I mean, think when the, when Shadow Complex came out, the 360 was the leading console. Yeah. So, yeah. like, it had a lot of exposure. I mean, I'm just saying... There's, no, but there I mean, may not that, be that a... doesn't compare it to, like, Steam's numbers, though. You think there's a lot of people on Steam that didn't have access to a 360? It's not about the fact that they didn't have days. access to it. Dude, it's it's about think... the fact that they're still going to rebuy it or replay yeah, it just yeah. because of how great right, right. it is. Yeah, I think that's probably more common than you'd think, too. Also, just because Shadow Complex was rated by Peggy for PC, it was a leak, doesn't mean... Like, I, I think we're, well, you will likely also see Shadow Complex remastered on Xbox. Oh, yeah, on Xbox One, yeah, definitely. On Xbox One. So, so just just... This is the kind of thing where, you know, a company tests the waters to go... Okay, well, I mean, let's see. Y'all want Shadow Complex, you know, pay... You know, pay that's uh, true, that's true. Vote with your dollars. Whatever and- happened... Okay, so I'll be honest. I'll be totally honest. I never watched that Valkyria Chronicles or Valkyria Azur or whatever the hell it was trailer. Is that, did that, that was look, a teaser trailer. Did that look any good? I mean, it it looked, when, like, to find good. As in, to, I mean, <laughs> everyone... It was not when it was described on to its, me. It did not sound like on Valkyria its own, Chronicles. It looked really cool, but it did yeah. not look like Valkyria. It didn't Chronicles. look like a Valkyria Chronicles. See, that's game. but but it, it looks like a good game. But it, it is a it, it looks pretty and it looks well made and the developers talented. Um, we don't know much about it. All right. Uh, I mean, I I think it's something to be interested in, regardless. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, we forgot to bring that up. So yeah, this is, so this no, is it's also not a suggestion. I mean, I mean, this is also news. Apparently, Platinum Games is also de- in, currently developing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game with mm-hmm. Activision. With Activision, which so, you know is cool, but I mean, these will never probably, get full potential. It's probably going to be like modern Teenage Mutant. I mean, Ninja it's going to be like it's going to be like, tr- like it's going to be more like another Transformers. Yeah, where they all wear different colored masks. It, it's going to be like another Transformers <laughs> Platinum game, which was a competent yeah, game, true. but it, it it definitely does not feel like their heart and like. I don't want to say it doesn't like their heart and soul is in it, but, but hey, it just it it just feels like hey hey if this if this, this, if these Legend kinds of, of games help pay the bills help oh, keep platinum games alive well, so course. they can make games like Scalebound still then you know what like I'm fine with it I mean they obviously have found a way to make these games pretty quick and they end up being pretty good at least that Transformers game was so you know okay so Activision had a three game deal with Nickelodeon for their modern cartoon series I think this is number three Nickelodeon. Yeah, Nickelodeon, yeah, Nickelodeon owns, owns, owns like right uh, Korra, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Transformers. And did they own Transformers? I don't, I don't know. think so. Uh, they have they have some kind I of would, Transformers. Show. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Nickelodeon. Dude, you know, I have not. I haven't kept track of Nickelodeon in like basically a decade, anything that so. Disney doesn't own now in <laughs> children's programming. Nickelodeon. Do so. Do you think that like they are gonna go back and go for a you know older Ninja Turtles? Dude, that's, no, that's style. What I would no, love. they're not. It's yeah, they're not be, going to. It's gonna be but the they modern did with, stuff. What about with Transformers though? That was such a throwback, and that's why that was half the awesome. Dude, if of this that was game. like the fucking nineties, well, oh my god, I would buy this game. I think. I think the. I think the. Team TMNT TV property so right so now is popular? probably more successful than okay. whatever Transformers has probably. going on. Okay, okay. Well, because that's been going for a while. In that case, yeah. I'm probably not. And interested. I mean, there's been there's been like three or four different tie-in tie-in games for that specific series mm-hmm. over the last few years. So what, what if it's the movie license? <laughs> the Michael Bay movie license? No, Wait, the not. the original. <laughs> oh. What if it's the comic book? No one cares about the crazy. comic book. All right, a so parody. Come on. So, um, all right. This is okay. Okay. So my news topic mm-hmm. is stick. Come on. <laughs> Capcom. Mm-hmm. Final trademark. Mm-hmm. For Onimusha. Mm. I'm not. That'd be a good mobile game. Fuck <laughs> you. Yeah. Go fuck a duck, Brad. Quack quack. <laughs> I, mean, I, am not, tactics too. I am not gonna let myself get excited. I'm not. But you just told me to be optimistic, and I here I am trying to contain my optimism. So do you think this this is like they they were trying to sneak this out there before PSX? You okay, well, maybe this weekend. Well, maybe. Here, well, here's the thing. So um, I forgot who it was. Somebody uh, somebody on Twitter said, and this is someone close to the industry said something along the lines of. Um, there is an announcement tomorrow at the Game Awards that apparently is a sequel to a game that Jeff Keighley specifically has been wanting to happen for years. Shaq Fu. You think it's Shaq Fu? I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Pray too. But I was like, oh, God, maybe he's an Outer Musha fan. I don't know. Grabbed by the ghoulies, too. I don't know. I'm not going to I'm That's not gonna let myself get excited. But it, the timing is the timing um, is interesting. I hope so. But, like, I think you're more likely to see this at... PSX. The truth is, sure, like, I don't care where it comes. The Game Awards didn't have like that many like giant announcements. Well, that's because that was last year was the first one being. Yeah, it's, last year. The Game Awards. Every time they reboot these Game Awards, it's like packs. Like when yeah. you do a new it's packs, a new the first one, yeah. year is always not big. Because you're dealing. It's like companies are dealing with new people and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah, they're not used to it. I think I think this year will be better. I think it's. I, hope, I think it. Sorry, I think it's I hope likely. This year will be better. I think it's more likely if this is like a legit Onimusha um, tease or, annou- or if there isn't a legit Onimusha announcement coming, it's probably going to be like an HD remaster. But that's also in the same vein as like what you said about Shadow Complex. That's reason to be excited that they're actually putting some weight in that property again because that could lead to other things. And I'll, I will happily take um, Onimusha 1 and 2 and sure 3 as well as you know an hd remaster hell just give me the whole trilogy and just pretend four never happened well, there you go give it to me in h pretty hd and ps4 i'll be so fucking happy probably not gonna happen probably not but you know what they what they probably would do is, is announce backwards compatibility support for those games if they were actually going to make a new one hey crispy what's your news topic hey hey so you guys know don't nod 
Entertainment. Yeah. Yes. They made Life is Strange. Remember me. Remember me. And they had a new game that they announced before Life is Strange even came out, I think, called Vampire. It's like an I think it's a, oh, yeah. right I think after it's that first Vampire. episode. Or right after the first episode. Yeah, it's Vampire. 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 Yeah, they kind of just announced that they're working on it, that it exists, and that's about it. But apparently, uh, I think today or yesterday or something, the game director was on Twitter kind of explaining it a little bit. Hmm. And I think they might have released a trailer. I haven't seen that yet, though. Uh, Like a concept. No trailer. Oh, okay. But there's details. Okay. Um, Yeah, so basically they've they've announced that the game uh, is going to be taking place in uh, 1918 England. During the Spanish flu epidemic, you play a surgeon who gets turned into a vampire. What? A lot of your like, uh, so so he's gonna use like a mix of vampire abilities and and weapons like bone saws. And, do you, like, do, surgical you, do tools. you get hurt if you Tonight try to drink the blood of someone who has the flu? I don't know. Well, they a big a big part of what he was talking about was um, how they they wanted to incorporate that same idea of like choice mm-hmm. into the gameplay narrative tainted blood. this is yeah well this is this is gonna be like an action rpg it's not like a it's not a point click adventure like life of strange is but they yeah. still want to have that like consequence of choice so part of it is going to come into play in the fact that you're a vampire and you do have to feed to yeah. stay alive but how you go about doing that like are you discreet do you like try to Try to like not feed unless you really need to, or are you just like a like a blood crazy like murderous monster, uh, like that kind of stuff. It it sort of sounds like that's that's what they're going for. Mm-hmm. Um, I can dig it. I can dig it too. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you know the the easiest comparison here is uh, Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines, Easy. which was I don't think it's gonna <laughs> be like that. careful. Pump the brakes. Which was pump the brakes. No, I know. <laughs> I know, which which was a great game. Um, we all really like that game. If this was, you know, anything like that, that would be ideal, but we don't know yet. Nope. But it's exciting. It kind of sounds like maybe they're, I don't know, like, Nick, you you were, you were liked Remember Me, right? It's not like a great game, but you Why were... Why are you laughing, like, Brad? You have bad taste in games. <laughs> Yo, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I did not Life love Remember Me, is, but I, it had no. Nice. Yeah, it wasn't a great game, but like you, there was there were some there good there things. Was, there were hooks in there. There, yeah, there, there were good kinda, things in the game. There yeah, were definitely there were ideas messing around. There, there. were um, there were small glimmers bur- of hope. Glimmers of I mean, yeah. at the I don't want to say brilliance. Yeah, but there were glimmers I, of greatness. I really yeah. like Chloe and Max. Yeah. Oh. Okay. From Life is Strange. I don't think they're gonna be in this game, but. But that's kind of where my love for Don't Not ends. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I, I have hopes. I, you I, know, hopes. I, I want like, like, Maybe they have a lot of energy. Life is Strange did really well, from what I understand. Dude, I mean, mm-hmm. how many how many studios have, like, put out, you know, a couple meh products before they, like, hit the one? No, that, that that's was, the like, thing. I mean, after Telltale. Remember yeah. Me hit. Telltale put out a lot of games. That hey, were after before. Remember Me hit, like, there, we were probably talking about, like, that studio just going away. Because yeah, that game true. had been in, like, development hell for a long yeah, time mm-hmm. yeah. um, before it was purchased by Capcom. Um, so, you know. I, I mean, mean it, it, they, 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 I, I warned everyone. I warned you the moment I played it at, at PAX. I was like, this game's not going to be good. Some people ended up really liking Dude, that I game. Know it. Like twelve people ended up like. Okay. Oh wait, what, which yeah. game? Remember, me. remember. Oh. At the very least, it can't be as bad as Dark. <laughs> no. Probably not. Dude, that's that's thirty minutes right. of my life. I'll never get back. All right, that's the news. Uh, real and quick, if I was to play, goes. if I was to play Life is Strange for the end of the year. What platform should I play it on? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't I just didn't know if it does have any like performance issues it's on the console or anything. No, it runs Final PC. Most to his point, some Telltale games don't run the uh, best on consoles. Get it on PC. That's why I asked specifically because of my experience. Yeah, get it on playing. PC. You need okay. you need to bulk up your Steam library. Yeah, what, never so you, ever get a Telltale <laughs> oh, game on is a that console. Because I already own it. I, oh, okay. Yeah. I I'm see. just saying, I log on and it's like like Brad Ass's library and it's like nine thousand games, like Infinite Nolan's library and it's another you know hey, thousand games. Dude, I don't have and anywhere near as many games. as you, Brad. Okay, you have a bunch though, but then it's like Nick's games and it's like six games. 
You know what's funny? I was yeah. thinking about playing like I don't Invisible play a lot of Ink, PC. which is like the one game Nick has I want to play. Yeah. And like this motherfucker's playing it now. And I'm like, who would have thought Son Nick would be on bitch. Steam playing a goddamn PC game? Because I can't play it if you're playing it. But, uh, oh, man. I mean... I'm I'm juggling a lot of things, Brad, well, so I won't be playing it all that often. Well, if you play Tales from the Board, any Telltale thing, definitely play it on PC. Like, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Just choose not to stream it, but it is not worth playing Dude, it on consoles. Play Tales of the Borderlands, though. Play King's Quest. It's we'll free. See. We'll oh, see. Oh, and uh, episode two of King's Quest is coming out in the next Ooh, week or two. Yeah, nice. That first episode's free with PS Plus. Oh, yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Oh, yeah, go play that. King's oh, Quest episode one was great. It's like long. A Night to Remember. You know, you know what yeah, else is like great? Yeah, like four hours. You know what else is great? Our community! Yay! They're the best! We love them. It's the community! What are you doing to that bear? My favorite part is you. Never never shake him. Uh, All right, so uh, we got one new patron this past week. We did. Uh, Mr. Green Toss. Toes? I don't know how to say Mr. His name. Mr. Green Toes. We'll just Green call him Toes. <laughs> Green Toes. Mr. Green Toes. Mr. Grintus. Grintus. Uh, probably see a doctor. Thank you for. Uh, backing us on Patreon Thank and you. being a patron. We appreciate you a lot. Chris Davis says he's a what cool is dude. Shit? Is, is this person related to Chris Davis? I think it's, it's his, Chris Davis' cousin. Or it's his dad? I don't know. I don't know. It's no, that's dad. not his dad. Uh, all right, so we, we do have a potential new supporter of the month. We do. Uh, picked one today, reached out to them, but haven't heard back he yet. He is a patron. Do you message yes. him on Patreon, too? I sent him an email. Okay. Probably, do, well, yeah, I guess he's probably more likely to get the email. Probably, uh, I'll just say his name's Dante. Ooh, well, if you pick a Devil May Cry game, <laughs> pick a good one. Two. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, and that's that's all for that. So let's get to some viewer questions. I love viewer or, questions. Sorry, 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 not viewer questions, but patron questions. Patreon questions. Patreon. Aston questions. Um. Patron question. Predicaments? I don't know. I was trying to think of some alliteration. Anyway, uh, first question this week from Sean. What is the biggest hurdle or wall you hit in a game? It could be a particularly grindy boss in a JRPG or an impossible section in a platformer, to give some examples. Ooh, well, well there is this one level in Lara Croft Go that I'm currently <laughs> stuck on. I've stopped playing a lot of games because they were bad. Like what? That's <laughs> like what, Crispy? So quality is the biggest what? hurdle. What, 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 wall, like, what wall did you hit in Symphony of the Night? <laughs> Dude, okay, okay, you want to talk about Symphony of the Night? I don't know what the fuck is going on in that game, and everything kills me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah, that sounds fair. fair, Brad. You're bad. You're bad. <laughs> Dude, well, that one, I almost, I kept going a little while after the first, like, shadow fight you have to do. Mm-hmm. I think I actually beat it and then like kept going a little farther from that, but I almost like it was. I, I, I know exactly my when, on when that you fight. when you it's trying to get up those stairs with the shit. Oh, I remember down. that the, the 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 skulls the and then there's oh and then you got to climb up like the belfries. I, I don't even know like, the, like we we know all the things Chris so, hates about that. There's so that's a brutal save point. There's stretch. so many places to go and none of them get you anywhere. Like I hey. I just want to br- I want to bring up because I was actually going to say my answer to this the, in most recent memory. This is in response to Jaeger. Uh, in most my r- most recent memory, the biggest roadblock this year, at least ha- for me, has been the uh, the blood starved beast in Bloodborne. So that's what I was going to say. Oh, oh. I, oh. But I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I, and the funny thing is, I love Bloodborne. I fucking love that game. And and Jaeger said something about he he thinks it's too bad that none of us are going to play that expansion. Which I don't know why he thinks that. I would love to play that. No, expansion. No, you're not going to play. It. You know why? Because it's bullshit. Because when you beat Bloodborne, it starts New Game Plus. And, and once you start New Game Plus, you can't go do the new DLC. One, you're not high enough level to do it in New Game Plus. Two, you have to you know play through a certain portion of the game before you can even access it. Like and and once you do, it's really fucking hard. Which means you probably need to go play more of the game and level up before you can even handle it. Oh, so it. I basically have to play, play the game again just to get to a point where I can yeah, play it again. Yeah, pretty much. Well, Edit I'm not gonna hard. do that. That fucking sucks. Okay, I, uh, one more, and then we can move on. Uh, I never finished Assassin's Creed Four. 
Because, really? because I went to go do, like, the final story mission where you actually have to, like, they're like, go to the far east of the map and then yeah. you go to a different area to go do that mission. Yeah. And when I tried to do that, it was like, you have to upgrade your ship more. And I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I have played a lot of this. <laughs> the, the ending of that game's kind of poopy. So Great. You're I'm right. so glad. Uh, I Wait, was going to say, answer. most, well, I didn't answer either. I've been trying to answer. The wall? Most of my uh, kind of biggest hurdles usually revolved around like souls games yeah. like those are the games that f- m- that, I, that i can recall getting the most for you know to the point where i'm bending my controller and it's creaking because if, if i keep going it might break just because i get so fucking and i can't remember the name of the boss and jaeger or chai might be able to remember it but it was one of the chalice dungeons and it was the like the flaming dog boss um, oh, yeah. that like it just had it had one move that was an insta kill and if you didn't dodge properly, it would insta kill yeah. you. And yeah. it happened so many fucking times. And it's it's one of those things where you'd be so frustrating because you'd get it so close. You'd, you'd be so close to winning, and then it would do like the insta kill move on you. That you know, just it's just frustrating. And then and then just looking back on uh, playing other Souls games, yeah, those were the times. On like, Dark fucking, Souls One right now, mm-hmm. I'm I'm not stuck in a boss, but I'm at a point where I I don't know where to go. I'm, I remember I keep accidentally running into this room with a giant moth that keeps killing me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you got to yeah. kill that thing, mate, homie. Fire. Fire's good That's a boss. That. Kill it. Yeah, yeah. It's, I know it's a boss. But, uh, okay. but uh, the... Um, Is that your advice? The, yeah. <laughs> the watchdog of the old lords. Fuck that guy. Get the... Um, the the what what were the four the four knights the the in, the knights in, who say neat oh the old kings or the whatever. old kings like, yeah, oh my god like you know there's there's like all of the fucking oh in Roblox that I can think of hey that, fuck that like, boss in Bloodborne on the fucking roof dude when you get to the uh, you get about, to like yeah, the, that's the one that Kane Hurst that, that yeah glitched, Kane Hurst that fuck that guy <laughs> when you Being open up dude a lot of those end oh yeah that apparently I glitched out. Wait, okay, sorry, we spent way too much time. Yeah, I, I didn't answer, I have a quick answer, because I'm you playing it quickly. Son of a bitch. Quickly. No, it's fine, Brad. We, we, yeah, answer. Because I'm playing it right now, and I'm on the final boss or second to final boss. There's a lot of really bullshit difficult bosses in Undertale. And it's a uh, game you, you wouldn't expect to have really hard fucking I bosses. That? I just want to finish that fucking game, but I can't because the bosses are so fucking hard towards the end of that game, which it seems like a game that shouldn't have hard bosses. And yes, somebody else should play that. I think Crispy for sure should try to finish it. It's on, it's he, on he's already list. started it. How long Dude, is I'm it? Like, I'm like six hours into it. How long is it? Six hours? It's six no, hours. It's, it's, it, not six it's hours. like ten it's hours, like, maybe. Yeah, okay. eight or ten. Um, but uh, Damn it. it's I I don't I want to finish that game. I'm gonna finish that game before the end of the year. But I kind of like I don't get the hype. Like I feel like if it was gonna, right, that's, not, hey, that's that's not this that's time. Another con- this, this, long is, this is question time. You can agree on. Yeah, <laughs> this is question time. All right, uh, Burnsy asks, whose name do you say more, Miklopa or Piosht? Now, who's getting it? I think it's who, who's, who's, whose name do you like saying more? That was it. Oh, yeah, it did say like. Who's right. get, whose name do you like saying more? I'm going to go Pioft. with Pioft. I'm going to go with no, Pioft. I, I, like, I like Miklova. No, ne- neither of them. I like Chris Thacker. I knew you were going to say that. Kincaid, Chris from Kincaid, West Virginia. West Virginia. Chris Thacker. Does, is he even Thacker. a member of our Thacker. community? We're just going to show up at his house one day. I think, I think Chris we can look Thacker. Him up. I think Chris Thacker should should tweet at us on Twitter it's if you're listening to this show. We're gonna go to Kincaid, West Virginia, and just start asking around. Do you know Chris Thacker? His name Chris is Thacker. 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 Uh, all right. Next question. Uh, Nexus asks. While well, you guys have mentioned many examples of underrated gaming gems, what are you some What are some which you think are generally overrated? Oh, Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> Symphony of the Night. Oh, oh shots fired. Oh. That was a joke. Guys. Alan Calm Wake. Down. No. <laughs> no, Sorry. nobody likes Alan Wake. Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, you shoot a lot of dudes with flashlights. Well, well I mean, Call I know, of Duty. Oh, like, yeah, obviously. Every Call of Duty. Um, every Battlefield of the last. Overrated. I mean, I could go all day overrated game. Yeah. Shit, yeah. shit. Kotor. <laughs> Oh yeah! Don't do see that. now you're just Don't now you're that. just starting yeah. fights. Wait, That's no, not... we're, you were talking about overrated games. Kotor was not games overrated. I've traditionally always thought were overrated. All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let's let's move on. We have a lot of questions today. Mick Lopa, yours is really long, so I'm not even gonna read it. I'm sorry. Ask again next week. Oh, <laughs> his terrible. question would take like half okay. the rest of the fucking okay, time. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Ryan does art asks, what game came out this year? 
that you expect to be on other people's game of the year list that you think shouldn't be? Ooh, Undertale. I like that question. <laughs> Honestly, I, I have not finished it. I heard the ending is like like a blowjob or something. Like what? it's supposed to be like mind blowing. Oh, I thought you meant or like, something. Like an actor. <laughs> I thought you were saying it was like the ending is as good as a blowjob. I was like, oh, uh, I find that hard to believe. Um, would I be? I'm still kind of debating this myself, but I feel like Metal Gear Solid Five. What's he? What is? Oh. Man, that 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 series has so much fucking baggage that a game that good j- could still miss a top ten list. Well, no, yeah. it gets put in this category as like failure. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm not saying it's a failure. Well, I mean, people like same with like Arkham Knight, dude. That's a good fucking video game, but people are like. I'll tell you this. I'll put Arkham Knight on my top ten so much faster than I my, would put my Metal answer to my this question 10. is Soma. Well, really? Yep. Wait, how much have you played though? I don't know, like four hours. Oh, I guess if you don't like, you don't like. I, that's another one that I'm probably not going to finish. What is either. the point of this question? <laughs> the question is, what do you think is going to be on someone else's game of the year list that you think you wouldn't put on yours? Essentially, I think, I well, think, I mean, I just I think that's surprising because be. I don't think that many people. I think it's more it. of. What game do you think will commonly be put on top ten lists yeah. for the year that probably shouldn't be? Yeah, yeah Soma. Okay, that's Soma. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I, I think I have a... I mean, I'm going to stick with my answer of Metal Gear Solid Five. I think that's probably going to be... I think... Witcher 3? Maybe not. Maybe that's not so bad to put in a top ten, but I think it's probably going to get a lot of, like, Dude, game of the year, like, game see, of the year awards. You're going to see a lot of top tens from, like, the big outlets that have, like, Assassin's Creed Syndicate in them. Like, yeah. like fuck that. <laughs> All right, next question. Next question from Angel. If given the opportunity to work at one of your favorite video game studios, which job position do you see yourself in? Which game would you want to work on from that developer, and how would you guarantee its success? Jeez, that's a loaded question. Yeah, it's a fucking dude. Am I interviewing So we have, to pick a, we have to pick a studio with a franchise and what position I mean, we just, want to be in? Yeah, generalize Christ. it. Make it simple. Well, like, level design. Designer, game designer. I, want to I would like work. to be in game design. I want to work for Nintendo, and I want to be the guy that names their consoles because you cannot fuck that up. I don't think that's a position. You can't. You can't do any worse than that. They have just like one guy that they call up and they're like Joe. They're like, we got, we a, got new a new one console. Coming. We need you, buddy. And he's like, you okay. We're calling you in. He's like, he's like in his fucking like study, like his office for like weeks, just like like writing notes and everything. He's finally like, oh my god, I got it, guys. We're gonna call the new one. The Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think community manager would be a fun job. Um, I mean, I'm, I've, I've never been one to like really, you know, fantasize about being in like game design. But you have to, to deal with honest. people. People are the worst. I don't know. I honestly, I have you know, I got my degree is in marketing. I feel like marketing video game. I would have more fun marketing video games. I think than making them. Uh, I think I think uh, honestly a uh, level designer. I, I really uh, you know uh, uh, one thing that sucks is you know developers get shit for recognition. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But I, I I love when developers put in little hints here and there, and you you get to you get to hide your own little like things in the world where you kind of and just being able to I, I think that'd be a you lot. You know, of fun. if I had to pick a job that was directly related to development i would actually probably go with creative director because that's more of a hands-off job where i'm actually making creative decisions and m- managing people who are actually coding that's hands-off. Well, that's, think, well yeah i don't know i like because i had thought that maybe i would like to do something like scenario writing you yeah. know like that would be cool because i'm not really like a technical guy but I, was, I enjoy writing and I enjoy story craft and things like that. So I, I would happily be a web answer. developer. For, I would build their website. <laughs> yeah, I have something very specific. Okay. I would very much, I don't speak Polish, but I would very, very much <laughs> like to work for CD Projekt Red because I think they have a serious problem that a lot of people aren't talking about. And I would love to be the person that would help the them. The lack get of white people their, in their development team? No, no. I, <laughs> what? Uh, I I would well, it was a joke because they're in Poland, so they're probably all white. Yeah. No, I would. They need to get their shit in order as far as like like systems go, like you skill know, systems, loot systems. Shit's bad. In those you know games. what I want to fucking work on? Bethesda's fucking Pit Boy. That's what I want to fucking work on. Pit Boy expert. That is a very thankless job, though. <laughs> UI well, and yeah. stuff, but is a very necessary. One. It is. No, I would be. I would. Uh, so I would be digital shit. marketing. For um, uh, Hello Kitty games, or Hello Kitty no, Island no, no, Adventures, Hello, Hello Kitty Island. No, no, no. God damn it! 
Uh, the studio that's doing No Man's Sky. Oh, God damn. If my job was just tweeting about No Man's Sky. I would be a QA <laughs> tester on No Man's Sky for oh, the rest QA's of eternity. QA's the fucking worst. No, yeah. you wouldn't. Even uh, after uh, the game's launched. So, Mr. Green Toast, since he's a new patron, he asked a question. Uh, mm-hmm. Since it's the month of gifts and celebrations, what is one of the worst gifts you have ever gotten? <laughs> gifts? Or gifts? Or gifts. Gifts. Okay. Worst gifts? Gotten, a- or what is the one of the worst gifts you've ever given to someone? Oh, man. Oh, well, when I was in, when I was, a, when I was like maybe like in fifth grade, huh. um, I had got, uh, I went to, a, I was going to a friend's like birthday gathering and I got him a few packs of baseball cards and I opened them and I kept them and I didn't give him anything. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Because it was one of those situations where, like, ah, you don't have to get me anything. And I, I told my mom, it's like, let's get him. So I intended to give him to him. But then I realized, you know what? No. Nope. I'm going to keep these. Man, I don't know. I. So that was a bad <laughs> gift. I think, I, I guess, one, one bad gift I've gotten. So, like, my mom. I love my mom. That's and good. every year she always asks me what I want. But then half the time she doesn't get me anything. <laughs> she just gets me like random stuff. And like one year she got me this like rubber keyboard that you could like roll up. And I was like, and I even like as soon as I opened, it, I was like, Mom, I'm not gonna lie to you, I will never use this. <laughs> like I was like, I I love you, but I promise you, I will never in my life use Did she this. Take it back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, I think man. she's like. Well, oh. She's like. I guess I'll use it then. No, I'll never be honest about a gift. I really, get. dude. No, like, never. I mean, if it was like with a, if it was with like with like a random person, like a, an acquaintance, I would be like kind of. But it was my mom. Like, I'm not gonna yeah. lie to my mom. And be like, yeah, thanks, mom. I love it. So, when I whole, what, real quick, one gift I want to say that I got. It was for was it three years ago or four years ago? We did a we did a a white elephant at Nick's house. And I was like, you know what would be funny? I'm going to get a shake weight. And <laughs> I brought a shake been... weight, and it kept getting passed around, you and I, I ended up getting stuck with it. You went home with the shake weight. And I was like, <laughs> ha, ha, ha. But it, like, for fucking three years, it's just been sitting in my closet. And I'm so like, you, God damn it. The got, worst uh, gift you ever got was from yourself? Yeah, I bought myself a shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> That's been in my closet for three hey, years. Oh, uh, White Elephant Party I went to two or three years ago. I can't remember. Actually, I think it was probably three years ago. Um, it was actually a bunch of people. It was my girlfriend at the time, a bunch of her friends. I didn't really know much of the, many of them very well. So I was pretty surprised when I got a can of tomato soup. <laughs> I went home. It was a giant, like, giant can of tomato soup. That was my gift. I, I left there with a can of soup in hand. <sighs> Um, also, when I was you younger, eat it? yeah, I think I used it in a recipe. Nice. Uh, when I was, was younger, the recipe for tomato soup. I have a I have a stir fry recipe that uses tomato okay. soup. Actually, it was perfect. It was like the perfect thing. But it was like it was just I was like this is too big. I don't I don't need that much. But what, whatever. That's, that's beyond the point. Anyways, when I was younger, and it was Christmas time, and I had just started, my parents started to notice that I was listening to more and more music, like music more yeah. often. And I I can't remember how old I was. I was probably like. In my early, like, maybe 11, 12? I don't know. Yeah. My dad, or my parents, decided to get me a CD. I don't know how they chose the CD. I guess they were just looking at, like, what was popular or something like that. They got me... The Moulin Rouge soundtrack. No. They got me Garbage. Like, band Garbage. Okay, Little Wait, Garbage. What? They got me the band called Garbage. What's wrong with Garbage? Nothing's wrong with Garbage. I was like, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, I'll listen to this. And my dad, like, I guess had not really, like, looked at it very much before yeah. he bought it. He just kind of, I guess my mom decided to get, I don't know. My dad was like, oh, let me look at it. And I picked it up, and there was a song on the, <laughs> there was a song on the track that was called Milk. <laughs> it was, my dad was like, oh, that's weird. I don't like this. I'm taking it back. <laughs> what? Took it back. Yeah. I don't know. I was young. Like, it was I, I don't want to listen to some ruffian <laughs> saying unwholesome things about milk. <laughs> like, milk maybe, doesn't deserve I, that. I mean, maybe there that's were, just how your, chi- your there childhood were other, brain remembered it. No, there were other songs on there, but it, you know, yeah. I think you'd kind of tell it maybe wasn't the really. Song wasn't maybe, called milk. Maybe it was called like milk my penis. <laughs> it was like and maybe. Like, milk jugs. I literally <laughs> had it in my hand for all of like two seconds before it was gone. Vaginal milk. All right, we uh, <laughs> we gotta get we gotta get to at least one more question. Uh, we can't get to them all of these because it's getting late. Um, from uh, uh, oh dear, J- J- Jaraz, Jaros, Her- Heros. Jaros? I, I, I don't know how I say your name. <laughs> your I'm sorry. Heros? <laughs> Chris 
Davis says your father should have skimmed the track list. Oh, oh yeah. get out of here, Chris Davis. Uh, he says if you can invite one guest from another gaming podcast to your show, who would it be and why? Cocktail Ooh, time does not count. I don't listen to <laughs> podcasts. Uh, uh, I feel like it'd be a cop out to say Jeff Gersman, but that guy is fun. I feel like I feel like he'd be fun to talk to. Jim Sterling would be fun too. I mean, we've we've had conversations yeah. with Jim Sterling. He's he's fun, dude. Talk yeah. to from another podcast. Yeah, that we invite to be on ours as a guest. Dude, a lot of the Rooster Teeth teeth guys seem pretty cool, like Gus and Bernie and <clears throat> those dudes. Yeah, I don't know. Brad, yeah. you gonna you gonna answer this question? Uh, I think Brad and I are the only ones who listen to other podcasts. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I, I've got to know one. I listen to podcasts, just not gaming podcasts. Well, who would you like to have on our show, despite the fact that they're not gaming podcasts? Crispy. Mm. Can, can I say Neil deGrasse Tyson? Sure. Yeah. Or no, Eugene Merman. Oh, oh yeah. Eugene Merman there would be go. good. From Star Talk. Yeah. Well, I mean, from well, a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> Brad, That'd be a good the, one. Brad, you're the worst. Uh, I don't know. You're the worst. All right. Wow, Brad. Uh, if we didn't get to your question, feel free to post it again next week or ask another question or, you know, whatever. Uh, any patron uh, that is at the three... You know, any any tier. Any tier. I always, yeah. I always get it mixed any up. Tier. Any tier. As long as you're giving us at least a dollar. Uh, you can go in and ask us a question, any question you want, uh, and we'll... we'll Probably answer it on the podcast. At some point. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it for the community. Besides, uh, if you're in the community and you want to join us this weekend, we are going to be playing a lot of uh, the Uncharted 4 beta. So if you have the Nathan Drake collection, feel free to jump on Get and join on us. Uh, I will say this. And if, if you... Ha- Jesus, I grow me grow. What? <clears throat> I was just, just going to say, if there's anybody out there who listens to like any... Any podcast other than ourselves and is in shit like like ha- even smaller shows, I would just say keep that in mind. That's all I'm gonna say. I would love to have more people on this show in some sh- some shape or form. So I would say keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Let's finish the show. Yep, do it. Do it. Oh, oh it's me. I'm yes, sorry. I'm do sorry. It. Oh God, I'm sorry. We're I keep waiting. forgetting. Like this is usually where insert. This awkward pause is all your. For the this is where you insert yeah. chatter of the week now, but we're not doing that anymore. We're going to be bringing something else back to replace it in early 2016. So, mm-hmm. for now, no chatter of the week. Anyways, uh, we're going to wrap the show with a four-player minute now. We say our fuck you, our thank you, our hype, and our sweat. And uh, Brad is going to start us off as he always does. My hype is for a game that I. C- keep forgetting it exists but then when i remember it exists i get really excited that i actually have a vita but that there's a new trailer today for the game severed oh, which is yeah. the new game dungeon crawling uh rpg or whatever from uh the guys that made guacamelee uh drink box i'm super excited it looks super cool a lot of style uh my sweat is for another game where i saw the trailer today called deadly tower of monsters which is a game i played at e3 uh, it actually, I think, made my Hidden Gems of E3 top five. It did. It's a really, really cool-looking game. I couldn't really hear the game too well at E3, but after what, there's really bad, bad writing and bad humor in this most recent trailer. It's just not funny, and they're trying to be funny. And I feel like, like it could really ruin this game that just quite frankly looks incredible i don't think i've ever seen a game with this visual like style to it um so i recommend checking out that trailer but maybe just mute it because holy shit i'm a little worried (laughs) that that comes out in january i think or or early next year so i have high hopes for it another game that's coming out in january is another hype fuck it we're doing another hype the witness comes out in January, right? Oh, I forgot oh, about that. Fuck. Holy That's fucking soon. shit! I can't yeah. fucking wait. Do they not know that I'm still gonna be playing all the games in 2015 <laughs> yeah. that I haven't finished? There's actually quite a few like good games yeah. coming out in January. I mean, 2016 is gonna start big and probably yeah. end big. Um, and one more hype is for a game that, I, from what I understand, is coming out next week. That is um, SteamWorld Heist. That comes out next week. Uh, I believe so. Fuck. If not next week, maybe uh, the week after that. But, but I mean, that game is still a 2015 game from what I understand. And I, I'm, damn it. I'm kind of uh, pumped for it. And one last hype 
is I, I think it's coming out soon. It's Trails of Cold Steel. That's the new si- series uh, from um, from uh, Falcom. It's not Trails in the Sky. It's a different series, but I hear this first one is supposed to be pretty cool as well. So I'm kind of excited for that. No one. Cool. My four players. My hype. Uh, as for the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta, I'm really excited for that. They did a Twitch, a Twitch stream the other day uh, showing off some uh, some gameplay and stuff, and it looks really good. It looks like they incorporated a lot of the Last of Us Factions elements that I really enjoyed. Uh, it seems like loadouts are really customizable. Uh, you know, the, the whole... I don't know if you all know, there's, like, support buddies. Like, you can have... I call in like an AI to like help you out and stuff like that. It seems really cool, a lot of fun. I'm ready and excited to play it. My sweat uh, is for uh, Xenoblade. Uh, sweat? Uh, yeah. You're not gonna get to it? No, I'm gonna play it. Oh. <laughs> it's just uh, like the one thing is I'm going on vacation towards the end of the year, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll, I usually bring my PS4 when I go somewhere, but maybe I'll bring my Wii U. It is smaller. Yeah. Uh, and I'll, I'll play some. I can. I could fucking play it on the plane. Holy shit. I could play shit. it on the plane. Provided the plane has plugs. Most have plugs nowadays. That That is the kind really? of game I'd want to play on a TV, though, because well, that obviously. game is majestic as shit. Obviously, but I mean, when you're fucking in crunch time and yeah, you just got to do it. Dude, that time. and what? apparently the, the UI is, like, impossible to read on the gamepad. Well, I'll, I'll just do the parts I don't need to read. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my shame this week uh, is I've been watching Twin Peaks... <laughs> and that show is just so fucking awesome. Damn. Uh, damn. <laughs> like, I don't even fucking know what's going on in that show. But isn't no, it you're great? Not supposed to. I know. It's, it's just, it, like, there's fucking, like, three musical, like, there's, like, three soundtracks in the score, or three, like, songs in the score of this show. <laughs> and it's like, you'll watch an episode and you'll hear the same song, like, four different times. Like, oh. It's like, oh, this is something sad happening. Exactly. Like, they have a song. sad song, they have a romantic song. And then they kind of have, like, just. No, some, just like, do like, yourself a, a favor, trim the fat, and just play Alan Wake. <laughs> I've played Alan Wake. Play it again. No. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. And then my fuck you this week is definitely going to go to Icy Dude. Uh, fuck that guy. All this fucking bullshit, like ridiculous one hit kills on me. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He knows some secret I don't. Fuck I'm sorry, this. Icy Dude. It's okay. He says fuck you, but at least you're getting a show named after you. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, Crispy. All right. My sweat is also for. Xenoblade Chronicles X because it is just like looming. Yeah. <laughs> like like it looks really fun and I, I I I I'm really excited to play it but oh my fuck like I don't know what I'm going to oh, uh, like Oh my fuck. Yeah, like I might just have to abandon everything else I'm playing for the next few weeks until I get enough of that in to consider it for top 10. I don't really fucking know what I'm going to do. My thank you this week goes actually to Brad for giving me a drawn to death code. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Uh, my fuck you for the week goes to Tactical, whatever his <laughs> face is, Tactical Sean or something Eddie, like Freddy? that. Eddie, Freddy? Dude, oh my fuck God. that guy. No, no, I'm sure he's so a So we're guy. all our fuck but yous are going to people But he's way better. Yeah, he's if you hop in, do, 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 do 2v2s. Okay. That, that'll either you know, say with your partner. But what was he playing? That wasn't 2v2. No, I was he playing, was death playing oh, death death match. Match. oh, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Do, do you're just going to eat shit from all directions. Yeah, it's so much better because at least you're working with somebody. It's bad. Um, and my hype this week goes to No Man's Sky. Of course it does. Of course. Of course. All right. Um, my hype this week is actually going to Quantum Break. Really? Uh, I spent my, I spent, I read all the way through the, the game. They did a, Game Informer did an expose on Quantum Break. So I read through that on the plane on the way to Pittsburgh this past weekend. Um, and I was already excited for that game. But I am really, really excited just by the whole concept of having like a TV show, like an episodic TV show merged with a game. Well, it's kind of like, you know, you play a chapter of the game, you watch a 20 minute episode of the show and like the ch- decisions you make in the game dictate things that happen in the show. That sounds Daniel's really fucking cool. Daniel's from The cool. Wire is in it. There are and a I'm lot I'm starting of, to believe he's in every television show now. There are a <laughs> lot of, of recognizable faces in that show, uh, in Quantum Break. So that's very exciting. I'm. That's probably on, honestly, that game is probably near the top of my list for most anticipated games of 2016, which is crazy because 2016 is already looking like it's going to be crazier than 2015. God, don't say that. This year's already been so fucking dude, I, crazy. I, I, dude, Dark Souls 3, Mirror's Edge 2. Dark Souls 3. 
<laughs> they still do those every year. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. All right. Uh, my other hype, I'm going to go ahead and just say I'm going to do two hypes. I'm going to do uh, Invisible Ink. I am. It is. It has got its hooks in me. I'm is thinking. Is it the Talos principle of this year? Your late contender? Do you, I mean, yeah. If, if, if the only conceit there is that it's a late contender for game of the year, then yeah, definitely. I like I played Talos Principle really late in the year last year, and I had kind of the same reaction. So yeah, I'm pumped to go play more Invisible Ink. Um, my sweat is gonna go to the uh, Game Awards. I always have high hopes for the Game Awards, whether the show itself ends up being good or not. I don't know. I think I think it's got like last year was a pretty like quote unquote classier show. Than I think I was it was expecting. better than the shit that they did on. Split. Yeah, I, th- I think Jeff Keighley has been doing a pretty good job with the Game Awards show, even though. The trailers last year were kind of a disappointment. Yeah, the trailers were definitely a disappointment. I'm hoping that's fixed this year and we have some pretty big announcements. Who the hell knows? Yeah. It's always exciting going into it. You never know what's going to happen. We've had some pretty crazy shit announced these awards. This is where we got Skyrim was announced. This is where... That was when it was on TV. Though. Well, yeah. Well, but, yeah. I mean, this is still... This is the same, basically, same fucking thing. Like, this is also... Didn't we also get Last of Us announced at this... Mm, I think at the Game Awards? I'm pretty I, I, sure. Maybe. Yeah. I think yeah, so. It was yeah. Announced, yeah, so, like... Crazy shit can come out of these shows, so I'm also excited for the uh, the PlayStation experience this weekend. We'll probably that's isn't that where we fucking got or was that Gamescom where they announced Silent Hills or I PT? Do not that remember. was Gamescom. Okay, never mind. Um, either way, I'm still excited for both those shows back to back. It's pretty cool, um, but I am worried about about it. I'm also worried about this whole Anamusha thing, and my preemptive fuck you goes to Capcom because you're not going to do anything with it. I guarantee it. I hope I'm wrong though. So do preempt- something. You don't bring it back and do nothing with it. Well, actually, they do that all the time. Never Preemptive mind. fuck you to Capcom for Onimusha. Breath of Fire Six. Um. So what I did? Hype, sweat, fuck. And my thank you of the week goes to whoever gifted me Invisible Ink. I think I did this a long time ago because I actually it was actually gifted to me a long time ago. And I'm sorry I don't have it in front of me. Someone out there in the community gifted me Invisible Ink, and I thank you for that. I'm sorry it took so long for me to get to it, but thank you. What? And oh my God, no one! I broke my iPad. All right, <laughs> um, and that's gonna be it. That's that's it for the show tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, fourplayernetwork.com is the website, and uh, you can watch us broadcast games every single night over at fourpp.tv. Join me tomorrow for Ori in the Blind Forest, and maybe some uh, some you know commentary on the award show and the the trailers and whatnot. Uh, join Nolan this weekend for. Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta yeah. should be cool. And of course, you know, we play stuff every single night, so you can catch us playing something all the time, every day. Every day, all day. Or not all day. Yeah, every day. Every day. Anyways, thank you guys for being here. You thank guys. You for having I'll see you guys. Me. Yeah, sure. Maybe we'll have you back next week. I'll think about it. We'll see. Uh, and of course, we'll be back next Tuesday with another episode, another uh, chunk of games to talk about. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're going to go play games now. Goodbye.